better than, better than, better than, better than you. And you know it, I'm better than. I'm better than, better than, better than, better than you. And you know it, I'm better than. I'm never dropping you, honestly, no one's stopping me, y'all. I'm living by that philosophy It's blood, sweat, and tears It's sacrifice what I gotta me It's me against the world So number one's what I gotta be I swear that I just gotta be king That is my prophecy I feel like there's a god in me Monsters can't even conquer me Ready for war constantly Label me as a prodigy Never been modest Honestly, come at me What you got for me? This my fucker! Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. <laughs> How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. You little creme brulee, you. <laughs> I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. Little up. creme brulee, you. I told you. Me against the world, so number one's what I gotta be. I swear I'm gonna gargle your piss. That is my prophecy. I feel like there's a guy you fucking mark. Ready for war, constantly label me as a prodigy. Never been modest, honestly. Come at me, what you got for me? William Regal taking a page out of Joe Cronin's color commentary, talking about wanting to let Tony Schiavone or Taz melt inside of him or whatever. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was that that line alone from William Regal earned AEW a win over a WWE Raw right there. The AEW announced team tonight was on point, better than usual. Seriously. WWE Raw has gotten so bad that the AEW team feels like the gold standard. I would say that AEW was a 7 out of 10 tonight on commentary. Maybe a 6-5, but I'd go 7. And man, they are blowing the WWE out of the water with that 7. Ideally, I want an 8 or a 9, but you know what I mean? I'll take a 7. It sounded amazing. And with, with crap like that, you're going to win me over 100%. Lord Regal wanting people to melt inside of him. Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. <laughs> How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. little creme brulee, you. <laughs> I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. Little up. creme brulee, you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. well, here we go. I mean, a lot of times, AEW's commentary is always better than WWE, almost always. Um, but there have been times where AEW's commentary wasn't the best, but it was it was good enough, and it was better than WWE. But, you know, WWE's coming at you with a 4 or 5 out of 10 on commentary. You know, AEW a lot of times is delivering a 6 or a 5, or usually a 6. Usually AEW delivers a 6 or a 6, 5 out of 10 on commentary, which is a thumbs up. It's pretty good. But I got to tell you, tonight, maybe maybe tonight was better. It was a 7.5 out of 10 or an 8. I mean, I just, the, the commentary was much better tonight than usual in AEW. And it was certainly better than WWE. And maybe it felt like it was better than usual because WWE has been so piss poor. Like, so bad. You know what I mean? Tonight was refreshing. What a show tonight. 
I really had a good time tonight watching AEW. I really did. From the beginning to the end, there was something there at all times to keep me somewhat wondering what's up and interested. It's amazing how AEW is able to do that, and WWE just can never really do that anymore at all, or rarely do it. And uh, you got to give it a lot of everyone, the people that always say, Tony Khan can't book. Oh, Tony Khan sucks at booking. Like, I don't know, man. It's like, does he blow, does he F stuff up sometimes? And does he sometimes make mistakes with things? I believe he does a lot. There's a lot of mistakes made. But one thing I can say is that most of the time, though, week to week, I'm usually fairly entertained and entertained more than WWE. So there you go. And bear with me, I am sick again. I don't know if I have cancer, I'm dying inside, I don't know what's going on. I spent about two years never getting sick, ever. And now I've had, you know, the Coco 13 weeks ago or 12 weeks ago, whatever it was. Then right after that I had the flu. Oh no, I had a, I had a cold after that. And then I got the flu. And um, now I've got something else. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if tomorrow I'm going to wake up and feel better or if tomorrow I'm going to wake up and feel worse. I don't know what it is. I recently had a two-week sickness, and then the flu, I, I, I believe, was the flu. And it's like now I'm sick again. <clears throat> so I don't know what's up, but I do know that I'm sick every second. My, my kids are sick every second, so I think I'm probably getting it from them. You know, going back to a populated place at work, you know, after taking four years off doing YouTube, YouTube full-time, and then also not doing anything really during the first year and a half of COVID, you know, that's like five years of not a lot of interaction except for maybe some shopping here or there and movie theater once or twice. So, you know, maybe that's why I'm, it's all hitting me. But, man, it's, I feel horrible. Ugh. I do not feel good. <clears throat> um, No, I got one of the shots. I got one of the jabs. I didn't get the second one, though. I, I just got one, and then I was like, you know what? This thing, I'm not getting this. I changed my mind after one. So I had one. That was like two, what was that, a year and a half ago now? It was, a, it was uh, 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 September of last year. So I don't know. But yeah, man, my throat is jacked right now. So I am speaking uh, difficultly. But what a night, man. And how about the chairs scissoring? Did anybody catch the chairs scissoring? Oh, man, did that turn me on when the chair is scissored. But nothing turned me on more than when William Regal said this, and we're going to play it a lot tonight because, oh, it's so delicious. I love it. I'm going to taste it up. By the way, without a doubt, without a doubt, AEW crushed WWE Raw. Crushed them tonight. This was like a 7 out of 10 show. Um, Monday Night Raw was a 3 out of 10 this week. Awful Raw. This crushed it. And this wasn't even the best. They could have done more here. You know, it's just crazy. Listen to this, though. Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. You little creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. Little up. creme brulee, you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> Dude, he wants to melt inside of him. Listen to it again. Did you hear? He says he wants him to melt inside of him, which I found sexy. Welcome to the desk. I love it. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well, sir. You little creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh, Whoa. yikes. You know, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, some of my color commentary. Take a listen to this as we wait for everybody to get in here for the review. Is the algorithm sending the alert out to you bastards? It also went out on Patreon for everybody. Listen to this. Time wrestling. I'm Joe Cronin. Listen to side with Nigel Beginnis' uncle. So it's great to be here, man. And uh, I think a lot of people like Retro AG, but I think more people like Teddy Goods. It's going to be coming out in a minute. Well, you know, you would like... Uh, you know, you'd like Teddy Goods because he's kind of a guy who, uh, you know, he's a bit of a child-interested person, you know? Um, no, I, what does that mean? You know what, he, you know what it means. You know what, you know what he does. No, I, I don't know what he does. What are you talking about? Well, he's like you, you know, he's a pedophile. All right, that's, what are you talking? You're ridiculous. Like, I don't even like sitting here with you. 
Oh, how do you think I feel sitting next to a pedophile like you? All right, stop it, please. Here comes Teddy Goods. He's a pedophile, too. Shut up. Teddy Goods is here. It's big time wrestling. <laughs> this so is if, gonna... if you guys want, like, quick little comedy clips like that, I don't know. I, I was just messing around earlier. I made, like, four of those. They're only, like, a minute to two minutes long. Um, go uh, on the Corrupted Nation, my other YouTube channel, and you can see them there. Um, just to get a little giggle out of people, a little funny, uh, over-the-top color interaction joking. I don't know. A little little laugh for everybody. Um, you know, feel free to go over there and check it out if you, uh, you know, want a little laugh, maybe. Uh, there's also another one on there. And it looks like the alert is starting to go out to everybody that we're live. And let's get to this, man. I got clips on clips. Listen to this one. I'm going to gargle your piss. That was a great one right there. With one of the fans. Oh, they, did you hear that? The fan called him an N-word. No, I don't think, come on, I don't think that's what happened. This is obviously despicable, but I don't think that, look at this. Oh my goodness, this has got to be stopped. My God, look at this. That's right, this is another racist American just like you and everybody else here. All right, stop it. This is, un, this is unfortunate, but this is, you can't say that. Look at, oh my good. There he goes, he called him an N-word, a jungle hopper, something like that. Stop! Would you stop it? You don't know that's what he said! He's a racist like all you Americans, and he's a fat lord as well. Look at how fat and disgusting this man is. He say, he's a racist American, just like the Hulk Hogan song says. What are you, the Hulk Hogan song? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, here's, a, here's a replay. You know, the Hulk Hogan song, the, the musical, you know, the, 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 his uh, theme song from WWF. What, a real American? You know it's not real American. You know what it really is. It's a song called Real American. It's not a song about racism. <laughs> it's so. a song about racism, and I'll prove it to you. The night, I am a racist American. We well, hate all the blacks and Mexicans. Oh my God! I am a racist. Well, you get the idea. Enjoy those over on Corrupted Nation if you want um, over the top ridiculousness. Anyway, MJF obviously was going uh, was going face tonight. We could we could tell in his promo to me. I mean, uh, he delivered that promo, and I said it in the chat here with you guys. I go, oh my God, he's actually going face. That's what's going on. So I, I found it weird that they did that. They they telegraphed him going face earlier tonight. But at the end of the night, then I wondered if they telegraphed that on purpose because then he was not going to go face at the end and he was going to tell them to get him and, you know, you thought I was going to help Moxley, you idiots, you know, that type of thing. You know, so I thought maybe it was like a double swerve or something. But earlier when he cut the promo, he even wanted the crowd to sing along with his chant. You know what I mean? Sing along with his uh, catchphrase or whatever. And so, like, that made me go, I went, wow, okay, so MJF is going face. He's actually going face. He's doing what we said, which is he should still be MJF exactly, but he should display those stone cold things. Guys, he literally did exactly what I said last week. Were you watching my show last week? I literally said this last week. I said they need him to be stone cold Steve Austin when he was a, when he was a face. Be exactly like he was when he was a bad guy, except every once in a while, you know, he might come out and, and save somebody or do something. Or he might come out and, you know, rescue Stephanie from a crucifix. You know, that sort of thing. So that's exactly what we got here. I I, I couldn't believe it. Fuck, man, I got a pain in my back. I'm going to die on the air like that radio host. <clears throat> I'm going to be all right. Let's calm down. Let's relax. I don't think that's the kidney, though. Fuck, something in my back is killing me. <clears throat> what up, uh, Bean Cricket? I'm glad you tuned in, too. How you guys doing? I'm sick, so bear with me tonight. A little sick. I don't know what's going on. Sick again. This is like the fifth thousandth time. MJF is working you. I mean, maybe, but uh, it, it, what he did do what, you know, what we thought. You know what I mean? <coughs> God damn, man.
No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but you never know. <coughs> Whew. Um, but so yeah, let me let me pull it up real quickly. Let me pull up the uh, the order of things. I like to have the order. You know what I mean? I don't always have the order up, but I like to I like to have the order up. You know, keep it in. Uh, keep it going the right way. You know, otherwise I start skipping around everywhere, talking about this, that, and the other thing, MJF and everything else, and you know, we get all out of sorts. So let me pull up exactly where we're supposed to be at. And while we do that, New let's get subscriber. to the donations. You fucking mark! Rosalinda Kies. Um, thank you for subbing to the channel. What's going on? Rosalinda, good to have you. We needed you. Quite honestly, we needed you. Do a little basketball dance off the concrete. Pacharo! I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. I'll be honest, I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Liv Morgan was in the new Chucky episode. It was the actual Liv Morgan character that you see on TV. Chucky even introduced her as a WWE superstar. What the hell? She even gets killed by Chucky right at the end of the episode. Spoilers. It felt like a fourth wall break. Spoilers! Um, Shit bomb! Thanks, Pichar, I'll never watch Commentary it. sucked. Taz needs to go. He just jokes. That's weird, man. I don't know why. I actually like the commentary tonight. I mean, I'm not... Listen, dude, I'm not the biggest... Um, um, I'm not the biggest, you know, Taz guy. But, dude, I thought he was pretty good tonight. I thought they were fun tonight. I don't know why. I actually kind of enjoyed it, Alex, to be honest. Tonight, yo, Robert Frank, what's up, man? The big dog's here. Holy shit, the big dog Robert Frank. Unbelievable. Yeah, dude, I, I love uh, Conan... Conan's one of the only ones I listen to. I listen to Conan and about Cornette, and I listen to a little Brian Alvarez, and that's about it. So, yeah, man, um, I'm in that boat as well. Plus, I love Conan. Man, what was uh, Keith Lee? What was he going to try to fuck the man? What is he doing, man? Fucking love Conan. <clears throat> Conan. Conan will always be awesome in my book. Um, I'm actually glad because a long time ago when Conan, when Conan stuck up for me against that SJW, cocksucker um i didn't know conan had a podcast at that point and so i went and heard his podcast because of him coming on my show and so then i was like oh fuck man and i've been listening to him ever since that so because i i enjoy his takes i still like solo and, and, and a couple others as well but yeah conan's great love conan uh but yeah no i thought you know it was it was nice enough tonight now i do want to comment on the fact that it was a bit cringy man that beginning I love I love Chris Jericho and listen if I was there I would look like a full on mark too. But man there are a lot of speaking of people uh being in shape talk about people that are out of shape. That crowd is full of out of shape weirdo fucks. Let me tell you something. And I'm not trying to hate man if I was there I'd be singing Judas too man. I'd probably look like a loser on camera. I'd be like Judas like and I'd look like a moron too just like everybody else but boy I'll tell you what dude that's a lot of people, like a lot of 40-year-old, 30-year-old, 50-year-old men. I noticed that tonight. A lot of 30, 40, and 50-year-old men in, in the crowd. Angsty stuff going on. Dorks. A lot of over uh, overweight, balding heads singing Judas. Did you guys pick up on that tonight? Good Lord, was there a lot of that going on tonight. Like, there was a lot of, like... You know, bizarreness, dressed up for bizarre. I mean, this guy was kind of cool. That's a pretty cool uh, Halloween outfit there, you know, looking pretty good. But there were a lot of people who looked like me without my hat on and maybe even 50 more pounds. What, what, maybe I have a kidney stone. Maybe that's why I'm sick. I'm thinking, oh, I, I, caught, I caught a sickness... I caught another cold like every all the kids have had colds. I caught another cold. Meanwhile, I actually have a kidney stone that's stuck in me and I'm fucking that's why I have a that's why I'm sick. Wouldn't that suck? Um, look at this guy. Looks adorable. The guy to the left of him. I mean, this guy, if that's a guy right there, that might be a, a younger guy. I, I don't know, but this girl looks kind of younger, you know, maybe 20s, 18s. I don't know, man, but there's a lot of dudes in their 30s, 40s, and 50s balding and maybe overweight. And, uh, I mean, th my demographic, our demographic, but this is the de – I just I, – I noticed this. 
you know, obviously this is the crowd that AEW has, man. Nobody has kids anymore, really. WWE still has some kids sprinkled around AEW as a couple and stuff, but it's just, man, I notice the crowd is, every week I notice the crowd, I'm like, damn, it's it's dads, it's guys like me. It's guys in their 30s and their 40s and their 50s who <clears throat> are like, this is like our like rock concert or whatever. Like, the, like if the wives want to go to the play, I mean, the men want to go to the wrestling show. I mean, here's the cameraman finally found some fucking estrogen in the crowd, and that's even maybe questionable, but, uh, you know, found some estrogen in the crowd finally. Took a while, you know. This guy's got some of his hair, you know. But Lord, there was a lot of people singing Judas that were looking rough. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of World of Warcraft players. That's what I'm trying to say. Look at this. They they went out of their way to find women too, I, and I and bless them for doing it. But take a look behind this this beautiful lady, right here. Look at that, guys, 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 guys. Toothless guy. You know, Michael Strahan over there looking like he's dressed like MJF for Hogwarts. I love it. This is my crowd, bro. This is our crowd. <clears throat> Tony Khan knows what he's doing, but it was a good opening for for Jericho to come out. People are singing, having a good time. I'm feeling it. You know, I'm watching it on the big screen in the basement, and I'm feeling it. I'm like, yeah, let's go. I'm ready for the show tonight. Jericho's, oh, there we go. Young Young girl with her dad, it looks like. That's cool. So there's some youth out there somewhere. That dad's older than me, I think. That's okay. It's probably there for him. The girl knows the words, though. Girl knows the words. I love it. I love that. You know what? I'd, I'd love to go here with my daughter. And my daughter actually watched AEW with me tonight. Did you know that? My kids never watch WWE with me anymore at all. My daughter watched a little AEW with me tonight. She was actually waiting for the women to come on, and they, like, said they were coming on next, and then, like, they didn't come on for, like, 30 or 40 more minutes. Look at this guy. He's pumped up. He's like, whoa, yeah. He pumps his fist. He's dressed to go hunting, you know, but instead he's at an AEW event. This guy's dressed to go hunting. Now, if you play the video, he's going to fist pump here, like, into the air, like, Judas in my mind. Like, he's so ready to go. Judas in my mind. Bro, the, doesn't the crowd realize, make you realize what we all look like? You know? See? He's pumped. He's like, yeah. <coughs> yeah. I'm here for Judas. I'm here for Judas. Look at this. Are you here for Judas? I am. These guys, this guy right here, he's got the, I don't know what that is going on there in the head. Guy next to him, bunch of people next to them, you know, like, I don't know, I'm just, you know, I'm just gauging the crowd, brother. This guy's got a tattoo of, I don't know what the fuck that is on his uh, chest there. But then again, you know, <clears throat> Then again, when you got William Regal, you know, saying things like this, you know, I mean, tonight was a fun night. Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. little creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. A little idiots. creme brulee, you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> Really oh, a lot of, of estrogen. There, there might actually be a lot of estrogen in this crowd, to be honest. Um, you know, I love it. William Regal wants people to melt in him. You know, MJF gargling piss. I'm gonna gargle your piss. It was a great night. I had a blast. I really did love the show, though. I did like the show. I mean, I mean that when I'm saying that. These two guys. I mean, they, every time they cut to the crowd, I was like, dude, are we at an AEW show or is this a Star Trek convention? Bro, you know what? <clears throat> but like you said, like you just said, King of um, Hueco Mundo in the chat, like you just said, they're happy to be there. They're partying. They're celebrating. And I know I'm making fun of it, but I'd be a loser there too. You know what I mean? I'm not exactly in shape here. You know what I mean? Look at this. What do I got? I got nothing. I'm fucking out of shape myself. I should weigh 190. I weigh 2 
12 or 28, 208 or something. I'm balding. I look just like these people. I'd be celebrating there too. I'm just joking around. But they are. They're happy to be there. That's the fun thing is everybody's happy to be there. They're 50, but, you know, they're, they're happy to be there. Um, look at it, dude. Look, I mean, I'm telling you, bro, this dude right here, he's like, you do this in my mind. Dude, he was losing his mind. Dude, I'm telling you, the crowd was amazing. The shots of the crowd at the beginning of the show, I it was so telling. It was like, dude, it was like everybody's dad escaped the house for a night. That's what it was like. It was like everybody's dad. We all listen to stuff when we were, we all skipped school. You know, some of us were around in the new middle era, metal era in uh, high school. You know, we were listening to like Slipknot and Cradle of Filth and like Typo Negative and Pantera and stuff like that. We were skipping school. We were having a blast. Maybe listen to some rap too, you know, some Eminem or something, whatever. And then maybe some of you got, maybe some other people were in Metallica. It was the, it was the late eighties. It was something like Sepultura and Metallica and Slayer and shit. And uh, they were skipping school. And suddenly it was like all of us, all of us, you know, we played Dungeons and Dragons and we, some of us grew up playing World of Warcraft or playing Magic the Gathering and shit like that. And then suddenly, and we watched wrestling and then somebody was like, you know what? Let the dads out. Let the dads out of the house just for a night. Where are they going to go? Who let the dads out? Yo, the dads are going to AEW, bro. The dads are going to AEW. They don't have their friends anymore. They can't play Dungeons and Dragons, but they can still go to wrestling shows, and they got out of the fucking house, bro. They got out of the house, dude. They got out. And this is the result of, this is the result of it, too, by the way. That's what happened here. Look at this. It's a beautiful thing to see these fathers swimming in the love. Look at that guy. Oh, man. Look at Oh! I mean, uh, who let the dads out, man? It's a, it's a great song, and that's what happened tonight. Everyone was pumped about AEW. So regardless of the fun that I'm making of this, everybody was having a great time singing fucking Judas. And then, dude, to be honest, Castagnoli, uh, Jericho, Yuta, and uh, the other guy, I forget his name, uh, they they had a good they had a good match they had an entertaining match I enjoyed the opening, you know so they they had a fun match a good match, um you know Castignoli like he like did the Cesaro swing or what does he call it now I don't even know what he calls it now but he did the swing, and uh, he had the uh, one of the guys on his back I mean it was awesome the crowd was flipping out they're pumped up I thought the announcing was pr doing pretty good commentary. Could always be better, but they did better than WWE. Uh, you know, the, someone's bleeding. Aubrey's got the black gloves on. You know what that means. They had a nice backstage segment with Daniel with Brian Danielson. They bled into that with Renee Paquette. And uh, I liked that backstage fight and segment and setup. This turmoil. You know, luckily no dogs were injured in this one, but it was I liked this. So at this point I'm thinking, hey man. Seven out of ten opening. That's pretty good, bro. Plus all the loser dads and on camera. I mean, that was great. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you know what it's time to do. It's friggin' turkey time! And Thanksgiving is on its fucking way, man! What if the turkeys ate us? Or what if they belayed us? What if the turkeys ate us? Oh man, we haven't seen him in a little bit. It's the Soundwave 92!
Better show than last week and beat the shit out of Raw. The Regal and Dick's Caliber Love Fest on commentary was a bit much but I still laughed. MJF and Daddy were fantastic with Renee in both segments. Best match was FTR versus Swerve in his glory hole eight tenths. Yeah, that was um that was fun and fairly well done. I knew you were gonna like it tonight, Soundwave, because I, I was having a good time tonight. We're gonna take a look at the poll results in just a minute. Soundwave ninety two. Um, twenty nine, ninety nine. The turkey's donation. Thank you, Soundwave. Um, <clears throat> Jesus. Sick again is Daddy Joe. Maybe I have a kidney stone. Fuck, man, my back right side is killing me. Like it comes and goes though. Fuck, I wasn't doing that at all today at all until right now. As I feel sweaty and hot and sore throat and everything. Maybe I've had that a while. Maybe something's up. Hey, just in time, I let I just got rid of my health insurance. So that'd be a good time to, you know, go to the hospital. Um, but maybe it's just uh gas or something. I don't know. Fuck, it hurts. Okay, it's gone again. Um Yeah, man. Uh I agree, Soundwave. Let me just I'm just rereading what you said just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Better show than last week. Beat the shit out of Raw. Uh, yeah, Regal and Excalibur. I mean, yeah, they did say some weird stuff on commentary, but I was, yeah, man, I was down for it. It was, it was funny. I enjoyed the commentary. Even if it wasn't still the commentary I'm looking for 100%, it's much more entertaining, uh, you know, than Raw. No doubt about it. Oh, boy, everybody. You need to scissor me right now, brother. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this, bro. It still had problems, especially the row bullshit. The main event was a fucking shit show. MJF looked like a retard coming down the ring solo when they could have had a pinnacle reunion to ATL East get FTR and Warlow involved to even the numbers. Well, I, I don't think that they wanted MJF teaming with anybody. You know what I mean? That's That's got to be, um, you know, the main reason for it. Because I thought the same thing that, you know, somebody could come out or whatever. Um, Soundwave 92 again, scissoring me at nine ninety nine after the $29 donation. Uh, thank you, Soundwave. It's not twenty nine ninety nine. It's twenty nine dollars. I keep thinking that because somebody was donating that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you know, I, I was thinking that too that somebody could come out with him or he could have gotten help or whatever. But I mean, he's he's still like like I said a couple. Remember last week what I said? I said I wanted MJF to do Stone Cold Steve Austin. Like he'll do the right thing if he has to, but he really doesn't want to, and he's still a prick. You know, like he'll save Stephanie from a cross. Um. And they wanted to get the sympathy, so I don't think it would have been good if he'd come out with another group of people. And I wanted to feel like he he does things on his own. He doesn't need a group with him, and that's sort of that. So now he'd just be getting another group again, so or other people that could have his back. So he he had to be solo, you know, no matter what. You know what I mean? He had to be solo like that. At least, uh, you know, that's kind of what I think. Um, but uh, I don't know. I could be uh, I could be crazy. That could be crazy. Then again, William Regal said this. Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. <laughs> How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. little creme brulee, you. <laughs> I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. A little idiots. creme brulee, you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> really oh. are. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> a creme brulee. I mean, that's something I would have said. I love it. I would have getting a little, getting a little sexy on commentary. I'm down. I'm gonna gargle your piss. 
There was a lot of stuff like that going on tonight, which was, you know, arousing, to be honest. It's quite inspiring, you know? Very sexy. Give it to me again, William. Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. little creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. All right. Oh, right. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. A little up. creme brulee, you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> really oh, are. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> that, dude, I was... Sitting down, relaxed, ready to watch AW. Like, all right, there we go. Start the show. William Regal's out, all right. And then he said that, dude. I almost spit out my drink all over the place. And right, right then, I decided, well, that's it. Commentary just beat Raw's commentary right off the bat. Like they just beat Raw's commentary right away with that comment by William Regal. That's just too funny. You'll never hear that again, or anything maybe like it. Um. And by the way, this is the opposite of Raw last night. Raw last night, I think, had, what was it, 30%, 30%, 60% for, like, blah and terrible? Something like that. It was, whatever it was, it was not good. But tonight, I mean, 79% positive, thumbs up for AEW. Oh, you know, so that's huge for them. That's huge. And it was, like I said, a good start. I'm, I'm in a, a 7 out of 10 for the start. And then we get something that I did not expect. We get a graphic of the Elite, which we, we, we did expect this because we said that, hey, man, A Steel is gone. Most likely CM Punk is then gone. You know, the dog got hurt in the fight, allegedly. And now we're getting advertisements for the Elite returning. You know, they're basically Thanosing the elite out of existence with this sympathetic like promo that's going on. And these are the guys that beat up uh you know, that beat up uh dog. You know? People love him. Bring back the guys that beat up a dog. They beat up a Jewish man's dog. How sick do you gotta be? These guys are one step away from Kanye West. They beat up a Jew's dog. You don't do that. You don't do that to Schwitzy. Okay? But look at them. So then we see this promo. So obviously, the Elite is coming back at some point. When will that be? How long will this drag on of this sort of advertisement that this is happening, this is going on? I don't know. <coughs> They're getting close to Big Boss Man. <laughs> well, they burned they burned right up and they dude, they literally uh did the Star Trek thing. Somebody beamed up the elite. I know that it looks like they were burned up here, but they were beamed up the elite. So the elite's coming back. And uh, people can't wait for that. And now, oh, look out. It's the man. It's Robert Frank. 615 on YouTube. Man, this guy's YouTube channel will give you an erection longer than you've seen in a long time, bro. Robert Frank, baby! Scissor me, Robbie! Yeah, daddy! Good God, look at that. Uh. Oh, boy. You're ten times more jacked than Eddie Kingston. Don't be so hard on yourself, bro. Oh, listen, I'm hard on everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, thanks, Robert. No, I, you know, you know what? I'm in full, yeah, dad mode. I'm in full excuses mode, bro. Um, but no, yeah, Eddie is, uh, Eddie's a wreck. And you know what's what's crazy is yes, if I was on TV, holy shit, dude, would I be hitting the gym? I'd be making videos of you if I if I was uh in AEW, I'd be down there and in the gym with you. Uh, you know, I don't know. 
but you know he's he's what he is right now. He's a little bit uh, a little bit doughy there. I'm certainly out of shape, but uh, I'm working on it. Actually, to be honest, thank goodness I got I got sick last time. When I caught that flu, bro, I lost like 15 pounds, and then I was working out at home because I had nothing else to do. And uh, yeah, that really helped a lot. Plus, the the other, one of my other jobs, I was doing a lot of lifting there, so that helped out big time. But man, being sick again today and yesterday, I don't know what the hell's going on. I have not been this sick in forever. <coughs> Thank you, Robert Frank, for scissoring me. Everybody, go subscribe to him. By the way. Dude, if you don't subscribe to him, you're crazy because it's hilarious. Uh, he's got a great channel, great products, great stuff. And if you're a female, I mean, listen, try not to come, okay? That's all I'll say. Uh, but thank you, Robert Frank. Um, so we're at this point of the show, you know, we're into uh, AEW Dynamite. At, uh, I like the backstage segment, too, after Jericho loses. They're in the back. Jericho's flipping out. He's like, ah, you motherfucker, ah. Eddie, you know, Sammy Guevara had an issue a little with his promo, but whatever. They all look mad. It looks funny. I kind of like this, too. So, you know, I, had a, I I like this backstage segment as well. So, you know, it's just another thing that I enjoyed. So, you know, at this point, I think I'm sticking to my 7 rating. And then Keith Lee and Swerve come out. And, uh, you know, it's you're feeling it a little bit. You're feeling it like, all right, let's get some momentum here. And we're going to get a FTR match with... Uh, Keith Lee and Swerve Scott, so this could be good. And it really kind of was. There were some times in the match where someone almost got hurt. They almost, you know, dropped somebody. Or Keith Lee looks way bigger, too, by the way. He does. Keith Lee looks like he's putting on more weight. I don't, you know, not saying good or bad. I'm just, he does look a little hefty, I will say. And I know that, you know, his wife said, you know, well, he had COVID, so that's why he's in this situation. But, uh, yeah, he does look a little bit uh, bigger. But, you know, hey, man, if he's comfortable, then that's cool. But it was good. It ended up being a good match. But you could tell that they had trouble with the weight. And he couldn't get himself up as much as normal. So hopefully he'll uh, – hopefully if he's trying to lose that weight, you know, he'll get he'll get there eventually to help him be a little more mobile like he used to be. And he still is damn mobile for his size. He looks, you know, really impressive. <coughs> You all have decided Whoa. to take your hard-earned money and to fund my show, to fund what I do, to fund what I believe in, to fund my godly ass. JCS Army. Here we go. The ghost from the coast. Donate to me. Oh, no, you didn't. Acknowledge me. <laughs> it was really almost great tonight. The Elite was announced to be returning on CM Punk's birthday. Oh. That is pretty funny. To wait, today is CM Punk's birthday? Oh my god, bro. That is too funny. What the hell, Soundwave? I mean, uh, Ghost, that was Ghost. Ghost from the Coast. Topping Soundwave. Today is CM Punk's birthday? <laughs> the Elite's coming back. Ghost from the Coast, thank you for the $30, man. That is the top donation of the stream. And a fire one. Look at Tony Schiavone trying to measure himself there. Look at that. He's looking down. He's like, look at how big that is. Um. So, yeah, at this point, you know, we're, we're um, I don't know, 33 minutes into the show, and, and this tag team match was great. Let me jump over to the Discord here and see who's uh, the cum ghost, says Ghost to the Coast. Let me jump over and see who's floating around on the on the good old uh, Discord. Let's see what's up. Wow, there's a lot of people on Discord. Good Lord, there's a lot of people in here. 
You show me yours, I'll oh, show you mine. Oh, yeah. Jesus. What up, Rustafa? Woo. The creme de la creme, if you will. Are you saying that because Lord Regal said cream on you or whatever he said? You, you, you just call him Lord Regal? Yeah, they called him Lord Regal all night. Oh, man. I, I mean, he's technically still William Regal, but, like, yeah, Lord Regal. I guess they're just trying to steer clear of anything that was WWE, but no, whatever. I just, think that, I just think that he's a lord, and they called him Lord Regal. Uh, no, no, they, they said, yeah, Lord William Regal. They said the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, they said the whole thing all night. They kept saying it. They were like, mm. thanks to Lord William Regal. But is he they technically said, a lord, though? You can pay 25 bucks to become a lord. Yeah, become a something. I got news for you. Doink the Clown wasn't really a clown, either. He's a man. Sorry to break your heart about that, but I'm I mean, just I mean, he kind of was a clown because, again, if you're kind of going to look like a clown, sound like a clown. Slaughter was a charger. Yeah, Welcome but his to the desk. Thank you very movie. much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well. Yeah. Yeah. Creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack Creme you and let you just melt in me. I would, honestly. Already. Oh, right. oh, right. <laughs> We're rocking. I'd like to let you melt in me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is great. Dude, William Regal yeah, went, he went. Wait, wait, dude. Slow him. Slow that down. Slow his voice down. Oh, slow his voice down? Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Slow his voice down. You miserable little half breed. I got to back up a little Sorry. bit here. Little so stop breed. seems to be. Um, <laughs> no, no. I find it funny. No, stop it. Stop it. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Thank you very much, Taz. Okay, let me slow it down. All right, here we go. You, why do you want to slow it down? Because you want to jerk off or? <laughs> I'm assuming on, you want to jerk off. That's what I'm assuming. But I'm just saying, saying. Like, voice down. Come on, Joe. You he wants, to, to, jerk he wants to deposit it in his spank. Welcome world. to the desk. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, here you go. Well, it is Halloween. <laughs> How are you today? Doing quite well, sir. You little creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in there. I would, honestly. Oh, really? Oh, yikes. <laughs> wow. I'd like Dude, to the, you little creme brulee, I'd like to let, I'd like to crack you and let you melt in me. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, uh, that is right out of the JCS playbook. Physical eroticas. He's <laughs> like, oh, no, no one's gonna be talking about this main event. They're gonna be be on Twitter tomorrow for being gay. <laughs> it's a fantasy. That was uh, that was certainly a fantasy in his mind for sure. I mean, that was and that I mean, was a good one. Want to be creme brulee in his mouth? I'd like to be no, creme brulee. Yeah. Or it's like a fantasy you have in your mind. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'd like to fucking just, yeah, let the cream inside of him. That's weird. Who yeah, brought up creme brulee, though? Did one of the other assholes say something and then he bounced off of it? How much you want to bet he's going to make a t-shirt out of that? <laughs> it's going to be like a donut that just creme brulee. Because, Scissor uh, me to like that's, creme brulee. that's what you would do. That's what you would do, but. No, no, I would not I do that, but I would know he would do that. I well, mean, go date a guy. Nah, I'm cool. Wait a minute. I would love to, uh, what? Something against the gays? Did you know no. he's already in love Mustafa's... with fantasy and theater. What's up, I there? am in love with the theater, absolutely, yeah. So oh, I, I've oh, gone yeah. through that the first... That sounds like a fag, fag or something. I've gone through oh, the... That's one. I've gone through the first uh, 33 minutes of this hey, show. I split it into a word. That so are you somebody's understudy at the moment? No, I'm always a lead. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you never so I guess uh, you're, you're going to, what, you're, you're for the next round of Hamilton? You're going to be uh, playing the lead? Nah, there? nah, it's overrated no, at this on. point. Come, I've seen it too many times. Come on, come on, Dave. You know he's auditioning for The Lion King. Is there a Roots, uh, uh, is there a Roots musical? Because yeah. I would assume by this point there probably would have been, right? Yeah. No. Cool. Yeah, it's I mean, it's uh it's called, uh it's a, actually a song. They made a music video of it. Good. Didn't they make a, a musical out of uh, Blazing Saddles? I wait. If they did, I gotta see it because now this is hilarious to even know if they made a musical yeah, well, out of this. Back when I, you know Broadway wasn't so uptight. I, I know. Admit, you know. I have to admit, I've been to a musical once. That's okay. You, no. Yeah, it's don't worry. <laughs> I'm assuming it was a horrible show. I've been. I've been to the SpongeBob musical. So oh my okay, god! Well, that's not okay. Oh my god! That's not. Did okay. you sing the fun song on your way in? Did they touch you? What no, I fuck? no, I went into the SpongeBob musical completely high off weed. Did you see Muppets I, on Ice? I, 
I'm surprised they didn't put you in like the special little box thing for the tennis win. Like and tonight we also I mean, have members I mean, like, from the Special Olympics. Get, the tennis, the, the the worst part about the tennis gold medal, it didn't give me shit. Well, you didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve it. Um, I did deserve it. Let's really step back in the proper well, direction I here. I was hoping WWE maybe we get get honored for the Special Olympics. Jesus. Well, we not, only none of them. We gotta get into the show, Olympics man. We only got a certain. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'll of be the here. dictator that I was uh, claimed that I'm not, but uh, oh, people dick. want me to be. Okay, let's start off, Joe, with something that I think it's very important before we even discuss let's go the to show. It. Yeah. Uh, you haven't talked about this yet, and I think uh, I want to get everyone's opinion on this, specifically Joe's. Um, okay, Warner Brothers Discovery announced just today <laughs> in an article that uh, they are now looking to uh, run. Um, ads during sports pro uh, programming of their stuff. They're trying to actually get more involved. Um, this article, which I posted in your Discord, uh, basically says the following. They're trying to make it a sport. Uh, that's what the strategy is. Strategy is that they're pushing AW into sports category, not the entertainment category. They're increasing that because of the new ownership, because Warner Brothers is now Warner Brothers Discovery. And this is all based off the, the success that they've seen recently with uh, high viewership, uh, a lot of uh, merchandise merchandise sales, the, the deals that they've been making oh. with other uh, uh, organizations and stuff to show their, their stuff around the world. So uh, th because of that success, uh, Warner, Brothers, eight, uh, Warner Brothers Discovery uh, is now stating that they're going to be moving forward and in, in highly uh, promoting AEW. Wait, or is that oh just boy. getting away from entertainment because WWE owns that side? Well, of that. well AEW I'm, never I'm is confused. sought out to be an entertainment company ever. I'm confused about something. That's how not what I mean. How are they going to push it as a sport when it's when it's all predetermined? It's still a sport, though. Technically, uh, the look, look at the NFL. Though. That's predetermined. <laughs> the win loss record thing they do kind of helps. The win, or they okay, well, still do that. Great discussion, guys. I Wait, so they're really so they're going to advertise yeah. their shows during what cross advertise during sporting events? Well, I mean, they're already yep. doing that. That's so what I was going to say. Is they don't do that action. now? Uh, I didn't see any sports fucking advertisements. Well, 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 no, no, no. Really? I'm just saying, like, normally, like, every time, like, you know, when you watch, like, TBS or even in the early days of TNT when AEW was on there, they would always advertise the program, especially on, like, you know, sports uh, mm. uh, <laughs> games and stuff of that nature. And then, like, they would say, hey, come watch AEW on Wednesday nights, blah, blah, blah. You know, they would do that. Well, right. So, what's the difference? <laughs> I mean, again, it, it's just like one of those things where I guess uh, maybe they're going to do even more uh, press in terms of like maybe more cross uh, pollination. I mean, we're already seeing that in in football where there's a lot of um, AEW stars like coming out to the games and like, hey, come watch our product and advertise. So maybe they might make more physical appearances. I don't so know. Speaking of advertisements tonight, uh, there was uh, an eight uh, medicine. Oh, God, I saw what you said. I know exactly what you're going to say. Come on, if you are uh, a female at birth. Assigned female at birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might not work for you. Also, the most common um, side effect is diarrhea. That was oh. the <laughs> That's how they ended it. That was so. good. That and is I'm eating pizza. Hilarious. Thank you very much, baby. And there was an ad right before that. I don't remember. It was just as cr Well, not just as cringy. It was equally cringe, but uh, not as much. And I can't Black remember what. Honey. No, it was just a very like it was again. I was just wondering what the hell is AEW or TBS allowing this to be advertised on their channel? But the AIDS the AIDS commercial certainly was comical. I, wait, you think it's Tony's fault or you think it's the network's fault? Oh, and the, network the network shouldn't be airing that stuff. And uh, yeah, well, it, that's that this company should be told no. Wrong. That's not something that we'd want to. No, but I mean, there's another one that I don't like. Because the, it's just fucking, it so makes it like sound okay to just fuck anything that moves and you just take this. <laughs> this one is kind of more of a um, mainstream one. This one doesn't, I don't know. This is a commercial I've seen for years now. I don't see it being too big of a problem. I don't know. It's, it's like it's been around. Like they're just, they probably still have a deal with them from years ago. You know? Yeah, we couldn't get a pill in time for Freddie Mercury. But it, dude, at least it doesn't make it sound like, oh, it just fucking go ahead, fuck anything. Like a, there's a couple of them that do that. I hate that shit, dude. Like, how about you just don't fucking tell, let's say you you know be smart about it. Would you put your dick in your mother? Oh my god. 
Okay. Good Lord. They wouldn't. A lot of inspiration. Save this, this for monetize this. Put dick in your mother. Good Lord. I'm going to gargle your piss. Oh, God. <laughs> All mean, right. So, yeah, Dave, let's let's get to the program here. The one thing, one thing uh, the first match I want to bring up right off the bat. I've got my list. So, basically, the refer, the referee spot, when Audrey Edwards is seeing, um, I, can't, I think it was uh, Claudio going over, or no, Claudio was getting the leg trip. First of all, um, Jake Hager is running around, sprinting around the ring because he feels like he's about to miss a spot. I'm like, dude, you could have just jogged to the other side just to trip him. And not only that, Aubrey was faced in front of that whole thing and saw Jake trip the leg. And I'm like, God, man, no subtleties whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that, he's right. lacking. Yeah, but but that didn't just happen in that match. It happened in the main event too, where Moxley's getting pinned after that arm spot, and his left shoulder's up. Yeah, but dude, you're not gonna. Yeah, what the fuck? fuck, fuck. Well, that one. Wait, is that that one's on Aubrey? Is it like that one was? No, it wasn't. Already? No, 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 no. The, the main event wasn't Aubrey, but the first match was. And by the way, she's always in a Jericho match. Yeah, but we, this is not the first time we talked about AEW officials like screwing up spots, you know. Right, dude, I got scared. Dude, when I first saw rushed, the botches. I guess. Like, oh man, I, dude, I first saw the botches. I saw happening. I guess in the dark. I was like, are these refs like, like real refs? What the fuck? <laughs> you shouldn't be letting this shit go on. No, I mean, that's why we need Mike Kyoto. I I do I like mean... the, I, I like the elites. Um, you know the Bucks yeah. vignette. Especially since uh, they were showing like the AEW logo, for example, and the word E, or the letter E, and the word e was the yeah. one yeah. uh, sort of disappeared. Um, yeah, that, it was really it was cool. well put together. I thought I liked it. Yeah, I liked the it, tease, a great tease. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the one thing that we all kind of knew because the news has been coming in for the past couple of days, where it looks like the elite are going to return sooner than later. So the fact that this vignette started yeah, tonight, that's, I, I actually thought that so they might good, even do so it tonight. I thought so they might. Even, mean, um, uh, I I can no, imagine that we're probably gonna get that at all. Uh, I'm sorry, not or full uh, gear. Full gear. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah but that's that what I mean. Punk agreed to the buyout. Never it out. There was times where nobody thought Omega would come back, and boom, he appears. On oh, dude, it can movies. happen at any point in the next two weeks, bro. Well, they're, they they were backstage tonight, from what I understand. But all three guys were backstage. Also, I think so Brandon did that Cutler, mean Punk agreed to buy out? Uh, apparently, so. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Brandon Cutler. Did that has nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with it. Well, no, Brandon, no. I the guess issue with the fucking elite is nothing to do with Punk. No, I think he was. He was like they all got. Ended. I think he's kind of wondering, well, what's the deal with Punk then if they're coming back? Well, no, that is understandable. And in fact, um, that brings me to my next uh, news uh, <clears throat> report. Uh, Wrestling on INC says, uh, from the perspective of CM Punk's camp, the media scrum itself after All Out didn't seem like a big deal and only escalated when Punk's locker room door was kicked in and accidentally hit Punk's dog, Larry, in the face. Oh. Apparently, the dog uh, lost, lost teeth. Two, lost two teeth. Whoa! In that, uh, little thing. Dude, no wonder they were fucking. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. When the no door. Wait, wait a second. The so when the Jackson door. When when the door open, they opened up the door. Is what hit the dog. They yeah, kicked yeah, it, it open. With their, Dude. That's what the and so now, so that CM changes. Punk is is now, now it's they're not. Saying it was kicked open and it hit the dog in the face. Yes, no wonder he fucked. Now lost. you know why CM Punk didn't throw the first punch. He threw the first punch because they really threw the first punch on the dog. <gasps> well, they hurt Larry. Punk, like, he hit the fucker. You in know what? He don't hit a dog with my name. You know what? Punk's, you know what? Defense, Fuck though, Tony Khan for supporting animal abusers. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Seriously, when Punk. When punk, it, it was written, I believe, in that same article, when Punk uh, threw the first punch, he felt threatened because under Chicago law or something like that, it basically made oh. him say, "I can defend myself." Well, yeah, under dude, any they law. came in there to fight. Should he? You didn't answer, you can't but they're not on the door. That means they were busting their way into your your home for the next twenty minutes. Like that's his little spot. You don't just bust in like that when it's locked, and he clearly doesn't want to talk <clears> to you <throat> when you knock. For yeah, and, right. and, and by the way, and even if he could come back, dude, he's still injured for crying out loud. He's not coming back anytime soon. Even if he wanted to. Thing. No, I'm not saying he's coming that's... back anytime soon. What I'm saying is if curious, the man. leader coming back, that means he must have accepted some sort of buyout. 
no, no, that has nothing to do with it. No, that has that has no relation whatsoever. Oh no, he, no, yeah, I see what they've done. Yeah, yeah, it, that, that may not even be done negotiating yet, Dan. They might have just. So he, they might not even have negotiated fully on that. The fucking that's, that's, but that's that apparently is one of the decision to bring the wheat back before the buyout is accepted. That has nothing to do with it. And it's not the boss about gets to decide it. The, the boss fuck. owns you from your contract. Yeah. It, he, it doesn't matter what fucking other parties think. Tony gets to decide yes. what happens. He has to work with each person, each fucking group individually, each, each party. Well, we know that Brandon Cutler's back because he just did a dark match tonight, and that's going to be appearing on, uh, I believe, uh, uh -oh. I can't remember, like Monday or Tuesday next week on YouTube. So we wait, know he's wait, back. Oh, is that yeah. the uh, is that the after crowd, like the after show one, or that's, that the, before? Guy, that's the so, Joe, that's the uh, YouTube show. Announced earlier this uh, afternoon, uh, the Kingdom, Matt Taven, Maria, and Mike Bennett have signed a multi year contract with AEW. Yep. I'm happy for my friends. I don't know what will happen. I hope it's good, and I'm glad. You know what? I'm glad because they should have been able to do the kingdom thing, maybe in WWE, and that didn't happen, and then they that never worked out. And Ring of Honor is Ring of Honor, so I'm happy to see them. Plus, Maria's got like her own promotion that she's working with right now. I don't care about that. that. I, I don't care about that. I don't give a shit Obviously about. You don't care about Maria. But, but, oh, oh, but I like hold Maria, on. But. Some people are are thinking Adam Cole might join them. Hmm. Wait, and what's he gonna play? The handicap guy? Probably. The I don't know. My role. But uh, is he clear? He's uh, like, again. He's pictured with them in in previous iterations and such. Mm -hmm. And yo, know, I like Adam Cole. No, it's me too. But is he still injured? Like, is he still recovering? Or no? Uh, well, actually, so, I haven't heard an update on that. Uh, he, the worst I heard is he might actually be out permanently. But yeah, there's he's no, got, no way he, he's still got. Back. He still got post concussion so or something. Have, what he shouldn't have done the move, whatever. Like, didn't he do a sick move? No, on he the got hit. He got, no, it was a dumb move. He got kicked all ridiculous, and he got hurt. It was dumb. It was like a. No, was, I was thought his freak. back was the issue. No, it was a freak kick to the head. He or whatever. He took, oh. he took a shot to the head and got concussed, and he's still well, not somebody, right. He got somebody too hard with his fucking BTE or whatever they call it, with a fucking knee, and then fucking he's like, they're like, take this motherfucker. No, yeah, it was um something completely out. Oh, shit. You hey, all Goldberg, have decided to take your hard-earned money from the heavens and to fund my show. Comes the Soundwave 92. Do, to fund what I believe in. He's wet. To fund my godly ass jcs hey, army acknowledge suck me up donate to me i'm gonna gargle your piss Ugh. i'm gonna Ugh. gargle your piss acknowledge me The elite teasing their return by basically Thanos snapping themselves out of existence is so fucking corny. But I am wicked pissed that I found out with the dog injured when they marched into the locker room. Punk is yeah, still dude. a bitch, but Wait, come on. Kenny Omega was he like, I'm just here to save Larry. Yeah, but you know what? The dog looks somewhat like a mutt, and you know, it's it could oh, be, oh, he's oh, a rescue dog, I think, right? Dog really, like yeah. really, yeah. just accused of abusing an animal. Really, an ugly no, dog. No, I'm not saying. I just think that dog should have been euthanized before it should have been allowed to be adopted. You know, oh. only purebreds. Well, I no, mean, fuck listen. That, dude, purebreds oh, you, have you, a you dog <laughs> I knew I was gonna stir some kind. Soundwave, <laughs> thank you. In the uh, chat, fuck the, in the dog. In the JCS chat, Joe, I put the uh, Liv Morgan, um, Chucky scene. I don't know if you can show it. No, I wouldn't. Show it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't risk it, Joe, because <laughs> YouTube and uh, USA are really picky about showing their shit. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad Liv died. She gets, she gets stabbed. Uh, Alexa Bliss and off, really. Dude, she masturbated once on Raw. I know it. I'm glad Liv's dead. I'm sure. Just shoved a doll head in her fucking ass. 
You know what? All right. <laughs> uh, I'll be dead next. Uh, guys, Avon guys, movement. after after the Bucks, um, Mustafa, I mean, you might have noticed this after the your stage guy, um, after the um, the Bucks <laughs> vignette. <laughs> Shivani comes back with the J- uh, Jericho Appreciation uh, Society. Great promo. Did you not? But did you not notice that there were mic problems in oh, oh, yeah. that entire yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was also all night the boom mic he was even showing at the corner of the screen. They apologized they for it on the right. on the show. They actually mentioned it. I mean, oh, I didn't it, hear that. I didn't hear it's the apology. Still better than yeah. Raw. Yeah. No, I mean, like... I thought that was just my internet. So they had like that. <laughs> oh shit! It was so hard to hear that promo. Yeah. Well, no, I heard the promo, but like uh, yeah, all night there too. was like two seconds, the three seconds. Too, and I thought it was great. It was just a matter of the sound quality. It was just like up and down, up and down. Did you guys yeah. hear Jericho? Yeah, they were like, we were playing. Obviously, we had audio problems there, but, uh, you know, they said that. You hear them. It's just that it was distant. It just wasn't really very, uh, very good. Yeah, it was like in and yeah, out, too. Like, I heard that whole promo. Why is it like that over here? You like, can hear I heard it. problems with during the matches. When they were talking shit during the matches and commentating, there, that's noticed. where it would be like three seconds of silence. But then that promo was it was okay. I thought. Well, no, it was just I could. It, it kept going in and out. So you could you could hear it. It was just in and out. One minute though, it was mic'd. The next minute, it was the camera mic was picking it up. So it was weird. But you God could, you damn could hear it, it, Steve! You that, see your ass is on the cord. In that promo, <laughs> Jericho had an open challenge. Now. Yep. Yeah. He did. Any wait, 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 wait. Is that on did he say Ring of like Honor or Ring. anybody? Yeah, any any yeah. former Ring of Honor champion, pretty much. Okay, so, got Ring it. Of Honor champion. Which, so by the way, got- if it's just for one night, I would love to see Jericho and Samoa Joe. Just out of uh, uh, that I would, would be good. I, I disagree would- with you on that, with Stopper. I would rather see Jericho and Jay Lethal. Oh, yeah, I was Jay Lethal's a heel, though. Too. Yeah, uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You, you just said it's for one night, so. It's like if it was if it was truly his for one night, like I mean, both of those are great choices, dude. I'm I'm in. Samoa Joe on that one. <laughs> Gotta go. Samoa hey, I would Joe. love Samoa Joe, dude. He he just had a great promo, didn't he? But the fucking you could die a lot of ways, but you just chose or, the worst. Yeah, one. maybe CM Punk. Maybe he'll come up for that. <laughs> Speaking of which, going into the next match, FTR versus Swerve in Our Glory. I mean, I thought, match. The, I thought the first Wait, match are, are was going to be the match of the night. The best matches of the night, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I was going to say both matches. It was a great match. match. This tag match for me just was a little bit more that, that just that much. They pushed the envelope more. Keith Lee is a badass. That freaking high. Oh, my God. Did you see that fucking lead forward, bro? Oh, my God. Dude, he's has a big man. He's crazy. He moved really well considering his size. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's not as acknowledged as it should be, I think. And I don't give well, a fuck if people think how boring he might be. Hey, you want to marry him yeah. or what? I don't care, man. The guy can move. Get someone and to well, talk dude, to him. The, the, the guy is mediocre, mediocre in the ring, Dave. Shut the fuck up. But no, <laughs> that, that doesn't matter. He's got <laughs> no, he, he is he, limited. Keith he, Lee is limited. No, he's not. I don't know. He just oh. showed tonight that he he My might voice just is not even in condition. I'll tell you what, though. You know what? Even though he looks way fatter than ever, he uh, he performed well tonight in the ring. I'll tell you that. Dude, Dude he, he, he will go zoom. Even like a broken clock can be white. He could, white use white to lose a little weight. He, could, bad, bad. he could use to lose a little weight. I'll be honest. What do you want him to do, uh, Dan? Do you want him to do like a fucking Superman fucking frog splash? Like what I want I him need. to do is, what I want him to do is be entertaining on the fucking mic. He is bland. That doesn't fuck. mean that doesn't mean he That's doesn't have That's only to a portion him. of their job there. They got to be yeah. in the real yeah. You can make up for that. And by the way, he can absolutely get a manager, especially as if he wanted to be a heel. Oh, in yeah. fact, you know what? Why don't you get Stokely to be his fucking manager? I was just going to say that. Oh, my God. Stokely. Stokely is great. He doesn't have to say shit. He'll just say, right. as soon as Stokely's Actually, done, all you say, indubitably, done. Then he honestly, kicks ass in the fucking ring. He, he and John it's done. Stud, King Kong Bundy, but with Yokozuna-like qualities, only see very little to the to the point at the summer of the Yokozuna. match. While you have, while you no have Stokely stuff. talk for him. Well, well, that's all well, you're doing. Well, Mustafa, I agree with you. Keith Lee should not be talking at all. Yeah, but don't say yeah, that's fine. But if that's all way. you're going to hold a man to, then you got to chill out because that's not the only aspect. Like Dave said, no, it's a I portion. understand, Je- Jesse. I understand that's not the only aspect. What Being I'm a fan of someone who just is... talks and does nothing, go be a fan of a politician. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah. But overall, what did you think of the match, <laughs> uh, though, guys? Uh, as far as this one, I loved it. 
I had a good time. That this match. was one of my favorite matches of the night. I thought it was one of the Me best. Too. This and the last one, but this one certainly did pop up. Uh, I think they had up. realistic. Oh. Uh, Dave, did you and, like? They had realistic. Um, uh, 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 what is it? Where they have a bunch of falls. What is it called? Whatever. False. A bunch finish. of near falls. They had a lot of the false finishes. Yeah. I thought yeah. that they yeah. were realistic and false good finishes. technical. Good technical wrestling, I thought too. And and uh, and, and by the way, aerial. not to under not to underplay this, but the acclaimed. Oh my god, yeah. that pop was the yep. loudest. Yeah, pop they are the fucking the yeah. and they didn't even wrestle. Example. They didn't even wrestle. They, did they just came out with seats and sat out. They didn't make no rap, nothing. They just came out with seats and sat down. And they didn't show them. Though. They didn't have And then there was like right after one. they came out, there was like scissor me. What was it? Like yeah. what's the, the oh, chant? Scissor. scissor me daddy. Scissor yeah. me daddy. Yeah, and they just did that for but a then bit. Then they got all the match was all like already under underway. Yeah, but then the, you notice the crowd got involved with the match because yeah, they were the, like, oh, my God, this is a good match. And big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, but, but again, I don't understand why the gun club were, like, dressed up. Maybe it's because it was Halloween and they were trying to, like, play it off. But, like, that kind of yeah. fell flat for me. No, what did they well, dress up as? I missed you know, it. They were, it was also, also as a distraction, I guess. And, right, uh, right. But they didn't have to dress up to be a distraction because everybody knew who they were including the all four members in the ring it's, it's ridicule it's uh it's trying to get out oh, of okay i can already figure it out then okay dude i just knew they were that it was them. i was like they showed the top i just looked at the, their faces and i'm like oh my god billy guns the, the moment i saw the gun club i was like okay the uh swerve and our glory are going over so that gave it away for me but that it doesn't was... matter though the way they did it i like how they held them back at the very like the last oh, yeah. minute. Oh yeah, that was it, that was the whole purpose of that of that finish. I mean, but it was and, done so well. Like AW it, fucked up a lot of good ideas. This was done pretty well tonight. I thought it still keeps the three mostly in contention with each other because obviously yeah. you want to see FTR versus a claim. Well, you but you've got next. Yeah. you've got uh, Swerve of Our Glory that is still in contention Maybe. and stuff, and they're still powerful. So well, yep, absolutely. So. Renee Paquette uh, is backstage with, with Soraya. Soraya. Too much makeup, fucking bitch. Uh, uh, and, and, and again, Soraya and Britt Baker, I mean, again, what's real, what's not real in, in this promo. And it just got out of hand to the point where Renee had to raise her voice and be like, guys, enough. Let's actually do this right. And I'm assuming they're going to have I can fuck some, your man. some type of future interview or some type of future sit down where all three women are going to talk it out. Um, which probably is going to lead to the first match of Soraya and Britt Baker, most likely at full gear. That's think, the Dave? only one that's going to work here. It, it looks like it is heading that way. Yeah, yeah, that's what it should be. She can so, have a match. Don't have it with those dumb other bitches, though. You got to have. I think uh, what's her uh, the doctor bitch? She, she knows how to work. Yeah. Well, no, Britt Baker. That's that's what we're, we're about. talking about, dude. That's what I mean. I mean, that, I couldn't think of the name, but no, she. That's the only one I think that you could allow Paige to work with that, like, is safe. So you want to start Honestly. off Paige is go for you know again one of the people who's not only won the the women's title, but is still despite being a heel, highly favored by the audience. She's like MJF to me. She's one of the best female things yeah. that wrestling. She's not gonna win the title for a while, like what she did with the last time. She. Oh, come on, Jesse. You know why you really never know. Paige. Right now, obviously, I don't think they're immediately going to strap it onto Paige, but or Soraya, no, not, not even but, close. Um, yeah, dude, we no. just want to see her up and No, but Soraya is also there to help out as well, and uh, more importantly, you've got um, Thunder Rosa hopefully coming Thank back you. soon. Uh, you got Tony Storm who came out tonight Ooh. to try to taunt, uh, you know, the ladies afterwards. Um, On oh, my penis. She, yeah, she looked very nice tonight. Tony looked very nice. So, Dave, you want to take over for the uh, MJF deal real quick? His promo. Well, uh, he oh got Oh, my God. Yes, let's go there. Let's go there. I would actually like to hear from Joe about this because he was talking about how he thought he was going face. I don't think he's going face. Me I either. Mean, you he's could compare us. it. I guess you could compare it's a tweener it to, deal. He's, dude, he's going to be a prick. You, but you could compare prick. Like uh, Joe wants to compare it to, to Stone Cold, and I can't really say that. Almost, it's not even no, a tweener. Not I'm thinking this is, again, no, he's you're still right. ally. Because I'm thinking this way, uh, from what happened tonight at the end, um, mm -hmm. he could potentially ally with the uh, the Black uh, Pool Combat Club, uh, just as uh -huh. a, sort of a necessity. Just until the pay -per -view. people that act. But right uh, now, I mean, yeah. don't you guys think they're gonna go with like just him and Moxley for now? Because they both don't like everybody. They don't trust people. They don't give a fuck. 
But together, they realize weeks? you're. How many weeks you know, until the paper? Friend of your enemy. Or whatever, I think it's like three enemy, weeks. Enemy, enemy. Well, there's time. Three weeks. What? That's time. Yeah. Yeah. And again, the thing is, is that next week or the week after, there could be a, a match, which uh, Blackpool uh, Combat Club and MJF versus. Was it the firm? Is that Stokely's Ooh. group? The firm? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, so there you go. I'm not gonna lie. And to, and to have to work, and again, if Moxley's on that team, he's gonna have to work there, and they're gonna be there's gonna be conflictions with tags, and you know, it it could certainly lead to well, to something. But and that's the thing. It, you know, it's, it's, you know what, you know what I mean. You know what MJF reminds me of. He reminds me of like an early Triple H. Well, if he if it like was a blue a shoot that he likes, he loves the game. Then of course he's going like, to use everything. Like terrorizing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, honestly, Dave, I, and this is really becoming more <laughs> cathartic for me because I'm six miles away from the Prudential Center, the Rock, where the Devils play, which is going to where the full gear is going to be. And each week, mm. I'm increasingly getting more invested to actually go. And I wasn't thinking about going. Yes, have... go, go, go. Yeah, go. Make sure to bring your Joe Cronin. Gotta sign. go. I'm gonna put it this way, uh, dude. I'm fucking buying the pay per view. I have not bought a pay per view since Full Gear last year. Jesse, don't buy the pay per view. You know we have ways to Shut get up. <laughs> I'm telling Rostafa, I feel what he's saying. It's made me want to see this, and not only I'm gonna pay for it. I'm like, I will support you for this pay per view because I like what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, and but which, so by the way, the, la the last match actually just announced, funny enough, that they're going to be doing more shows uh, literally at the uh, the White Eagle Hall in Jersey City, not far away from The Rock as well. But uh, nonetheless, yeah, no, I'm going to go to Full Gear because it's getting too yeah. good because I want to be in that it's, arena when MJF screws the fans. I want to be there mm -hmm. and I want to feel that energy. Yes, sir. So, so as you go yeah, there, yeah, Rastafa, Rastafa, are you going to bring your Joe Cronin for commentary sign? Of course. You Please. already know it. And and and, God, and, and, I'm also, and I'm gonna bring another son. I'm gonna bring a Dave needs a hug from Tony Khan's son. Oh, yes, that'd be so. This must this yes. must come. And in the words of Martin Luther King, this must come to pass. For we shall <laughs> overcome. Somehow, some way, somehow, some way, I will get my hug from Tony Khan. And you're All gonna right, cry. You Dude, go with Kenagon. Kenagon will be like, look, this is my autistic older brother. We're both autistic. Oh God. And you no, will get no, in. No, no, no. I say, I, I, I say, Rostoff is my cousin. Or no, we're talking Dave getting a hug here. You want to meet Tony Khan? You might die in a few days. Plus, you're autistic. Oh, make I a mean, wish. I mean, Dave, if you go to an sure. AEW here with me and pay for the tickets, I try to get you back. I go Dave, to an AEW. I do my damn Hold on. What do you say? If you go, if I go to an AEW, <laughs> what did I, you say? I, I said, if you go to an AEW. If you pay for the AEW show and Ooh. I go with you, I can probably get you backstage. I mean, really, dude, I my wife, I got to me. We, we, we don't need you to prostitute yourself. It's okay, my friend. Dude, no, he's going to do it anyway. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to try no, to get backstage anyway. You got, so. you got to go incognito if he's avoiding. I mean, he does get to kick it with people. Like, he gets first dibs at what, uh, being like, can I, I want to talk to the wrestler. I'm autistic. They take him right to him. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened with Cody. I asked you the security guard that asked the lady that talked to me, and then next thing I know, I'm backstage talking with Cody. The, this this man needs to heal and completely works him. I mean, shave your head before you go. You make a wish. Okay. So we per. No, well, I we could just bring you long. because you already. I, I, I look more sickly if my hair is long. Can Not you. Question? Dave needs the hug. Not you. You're good. You just need another shoe to fit the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, Joe, can you help me find that fucking shoe? <laughs> Ask Ryan. There's some homeless you, guy with it right now, that. probably. Dude, Ryan's no, the no, huge. No, I'm talking he's about the much. other Cody shoe. I've been looking for like two fucking yeah, years. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Fucking found it. Oh, could, could, could somebody yeah, else well, got the other one? Time yeah, I have shoe. one. You I'm looking for the other one. I've been looking for two fucking years. Under your upper lip. I would bet that yeah, your state has actual uh, funding for speech therapy. Just to let you know. I mean, wait, did Cody? Uh, did Cody throw? Well, it doesn't help. It doesn't help, it doesn't help that I've been drinking. Uh, no, but did Cody throw them both out or just the one? He threw them both out, but he threw them in two different fucking directions. Well, good luck then, because the other person feels just like you. They're like, I'm retarded. Yeah, but I'm never <laughs> here's the different. Here's the different, Jesse. My shoe is signed. My day. shoe is worth more. Why? <clears throat> Because your lips because are bigger? What the fuck? Why? 
<laughs> no, because it's signed by fucking Cody. Good point. All right. All right. All right. Enough uh, of this. So, video the video package of the kingdom is is playing, and it, of course, War Joe. I can't even believe I just said that. Are oh, wow. talking about that they're going to be uh, combating pretty soon. I believe on uh, on this Friday on Rampage. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jim, Gypsy War Joe. War Joe. Who the fuck is that? You this don't want to know. Team of War Blue and Samoa Joe. Yeah. Samoa yeah, Joe. Rampage sucks anyway, dude. I haven't seen a good one. Since <laughs> God, came around. Rampage is okay, good well, as is dark. This Rampage this week might be. This Rampage this week might be something with what they were advertising tonight. I felt that was. It's not long enough. Sometimes the times I've seen last it, I week's, go, you know, last week's great. got a good uh, review. Yeah. I, I, want, I guess I want two hours of it. They need more time. They got a lot of talent. One hour show, though. It's a. But I know, I know. So, Sammy Guevara versus Brian Danielson, their first ever singles Ooh, match. Technical match. Like uh, obviously, Brian always being the superior tactician, but uh, there was some good stuff from both. I liked it. And some good high flying yeah. stuff from Guevara. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and again, a lot of people were saying this online that like they're giving it like four stars, like you know, three and a quarter star out of I, five. I mean, yeah, you can't go that three. far, but it made me want to see them at a pay per view. I'll say that it made me want to see a, a bigger quality match out of them. Like at a absolutely, game. that's what I said too. It was and that again, good. I, I wasn't saying it was like one of the best matches like of their you know of their lives. I'm just saying like you know Fuck it was man. a good match based for uh, yep. you know like what was it like eleven minutes, twelve minutes that they had for a match. It wasn't it was, bad it was both for the technical um, wrestling that we saw, yeah. but also the high yeah. flying yeah. aspect as well. And uh, you know you got a little bit of the story <laughs> being told, so. Yeah, and by the way, yes, and, and Guevara's selling is absolutely incredible. When, when nah, the right, I'm, I'm going right. to still have to argue with that. He's a yeah. douche, and he still needs to learn a lot. He is a dude, but, but at least he's getting safer smart. because the stuff that he was doing when he first came into uh, AEW. Uh, I mean, obviously, Bachamani was covering. But, 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 but here's uh, the thing: lot, though. would but, you rather yeah. would you yeah, rather yeah. have him sell like the way he's selling now, or would you want to yeah. have no selling? practically almost like every few seconds in new japan which by the way i still have gripes about that when there's no selling i want selling well for for his character he has to sell like a clan because he looks like one and he acts like one so with daniel with brian or brian danison it worked wow. like i feel like the reversals were on were right on cue like it or pretty much well you that know. poison rana almost was bad i remember that poison rana and it was about to get botched. <laughs> oh the backwards one yeah what you mean the yeah yeah that was, that was intense looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they because they made sure they were like, are we gonna do this? Yeah, we're here now. We might as well. And they finished it off. Go. Good. <laughs> oh, and that's another thing too. I think it was during the Swerve in our glory match where uh Swerve was coming down off the middle rope, almost slipped, and luckily enough just did like a little cross body. Obviously, we knew it was a botch, but again, we forgave oh, it and it covered. That bad motherfucker. I remember that. Yeah, that was not. He could have fucking tripped bad. Dude, I thought he was going to break his ankle the way he came down. I was that, like, yeah, that was dude. About, dude. There's a couple of weird that looking things that, tonight that somebody like could a, almost died on. What's that? Yes. So the Jamie Hayter. Uh, uh, oh, I sorry, went and did you. Rio Rio match. match. Thank you. And uh, again, it's nice to see Rio back. But the thing is, though, dude, that's <laughs> like, this match has put me to sleep. Yeah, I went away for I put fucking uh, put the trash out for the it night. It was probably <laughs> I would have to I'd have to agree that it was more of the lull of the show amongst all the other matches. So although there was some good I don't know, there was it's obviously something was missing because the, the Riho is very technical, a hater is uh as well, but also a hater can put on a good show, very strong, can do some yeah. great moves. Riho is just fucking crazy with the, you know, aerial maneuvers. Mm-hmm. But something was lacking. Something didn't Did they get really... enough time, Dave, you think? It was a quickie. So It, it was a f- it was a fart in church for me. I mean, it just it just passed by and everybody just kind of... It doesn't matter. Out. It wasn't the time, Jesse. It was uh-huh. the, the, the sentiment of the match. There was really okay. nothing, at least for me as a fan, there was nothing at stake. There was nothing on. really... Exactly. Yeah. I agree with Dave. I didn't like the match either. I didn't say I didn't like it. Bit... Stop fucking putting it words in my mouth, was... you audience. <laughs> it didn't have that extra thing that makes you go, ooh, I want to see what happens next. With these two. There was, yeah, there was something missing. I don't know what it was. Maybe our guru here, uh, Joe Cronin, could explain. Yeah, what do you think, Joe? In the women's match? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they just they, at times like it was fine. I couldn't. I, I thought a bunch of different things during the women's match. The one of the things I thought was sometimes things look good. I thought they were having some. I thought they were having a fun time out there. It looked pretty good. And then there was other times where I thought. Says somebody in the chat. I'm sorry, Joe, but for somebody to say Riho sucks, you're an, you're an idiot. You are a dumbass. Well, well I yeah, mean, I she is a she is going to break her neck in the ring. From what I'm just well, saying. Well, so is Darby Allen. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. I trust him no, more than her. No, Darby Allen too. He's not a woman. You know, she she's <laughs> she's she's dressed Go like uh, like in the in an Go 80s movie man. where like. The bad guy dresses up the woman to rape her at the end of the movie, and the good guy got to save her. That's what Rio is wearing to the ring. Well, I don't know, man. Was that James? A lot of fun. What are you stuff. drinking, Joe? I'm telling I'll you, man. I'll take a big rape and. I thought it was a sloppy match, but like, it was good enough that it was interesting, but it was sloppy. But don't you see what I'm saying? Is that there? There's, there's. I'm grasping at something that's not there. Uh, yeah, you know, so something they could do there's to the fix tech, that. Yeah, they, there was yeah. a bunch of stuff that was great about it because they're tech. You know, they, they, there was the technical. Dude, Dave, they probably, the other, they probably know what that was. They probably went backstage and went, "Oh, dude, would this, you know what? We needed to do this," and that's probably what you're grabbing the audience, on. Like, the audience yeah. is really big supporting hater these days, uh, and they oh, love yeah. Rio. They love Rio. So, um, it's again, it's something for me was missing. Something for me to get invested was missing. Maybe a cross, like a, what is it, like a double, a turn, double turn even, maybe. I don't know. Can well, not the, yet, it, not yet. It's going to take a minute because, remember, we still have to go through Tony Storm I'm talking versus Hater. Here. I was yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hater, Hater and um, Tony Storm are most likely going to go at it for the title, which we could say that Tony Storm most likely is going over, which then will begin the cracks in the foundation between the three ladies. Wait, where is Thunder Rosa? She's injured, brother. Where have you been? Yeah. Thunder yeah, Rosa. A cry baby. No, it's cry baby. Still in- I was asking if she was still injured, is what I was asking. Oh, yeah. I think those are the words you used. Her pride, especially. <laughs> Well, then we go backstage and we have Renee interviewing Eddie Kingston. That this is promo interesting. Was, that was an interesting. Was weird. I like Eddie, from, dude. He don't like nobody, and that's fucking he came crazy. out. There was an article earlier today that he admitted Mox came to him and tried to get him to be cool with uh, Claudio, uh, and um, he he basically came out and said, "I don't like Regal because he's a fan of Brian." Um, you know, I Mox asked me to be cool with Claudio. We're cool now, but I'll never what's be he cool got, with what's he got uh, thing against Brian, Brian Daniels. Or, I don't what, know. What I don't know exactly what, but there was the article straight out that quoted him saying exactly that that came out. Mm. Wow. He okay. straight up said Eddie he will never be cool with Brian. Brian. Because that smile that he like had on was so mean, weird, I mean, I, I kind of like the <laughs> Eddie Kingston promo. Oh, he's great, dude. Kingston don't fuck around, dude. He's oh, just... No, he's, it, Kingston's promos are some of the best. Yeah, because yeah. his real deal. You know he don't trust motherfuckers. Like no, it's... he's yeah, he's very. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. He, yeah, he loves Moxley because Moxley's similar, but he's probably gets along with poor people. Eddie doesn't know how to get along with I people. Mean, you don't. Like. I mean, I feel like when Eddie Kingston cuts a promo, he mm-hmm. he he means what he fucking says. He's genuine. He yeah, really he's is. he's certainly um, blurring the lines there. And despite the fact that he supports BLM and always puts this uh, SJW crap in his Twitter bio and all that crap, it's hard for me not to like the guy. He's he's off his kilter, as it were. Yeah, and, uh, I like sure I like he, people like he's that. He's middle aged and crazy. <laughs> he's pretty, always been. I feel like he's been this way a while. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he, he could he, kick almost everyone's ass on this call. He's pretty much. That's how what believable he, he is. No, but straight up, he's the type of person that if you were to fuck with him in the streets, he would he would just he straight might up, kill you. Yeah, it, there would Honestly, be no... I would have a drink with him and watch the game. Like that's the type of dude that I want to hang with. Mm, he, no, I he... would not want to be around him while he's drinking. I mean, oh, I mean, I'm I down. Think, I think like, it, I think I could whatever. hang with him a little. Not when he was drinking, maybe while we were smoking weed or something. He'd cut a promo on you not being able to speak proper, and then he'd uh, kick you in the face. <laughs> well, then, then he, would cut on you, he would cut a promo on you for liking books and being a fucking Canadian. Okay. We're going to miss. It's all maybe right. the You're out of it. Tried. Yeah. Well, Darby Allen sexy. did a promo and was mentioning about Sting and how he needed to prove it to himself. So, so in other words, yeah. Yeah. Sting and Darby are no longer a pair. 
Um, that was weird. What was that about? I didn't I mind was, that. That's maybe like Sting's that contract's weird. coming up. But they did. Well, I, but he needs that next step. Darby would have. I would have thought out. they would have written him out or done some kind hey, of. Bullfrog oh. is a moron. I don't know. Like, oh, no. I, <laughs> what the Super me, no. <laughs> oh my! First punk gets fired on his wedding day, and now the elite comes back on his birthday. Ha 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 ha! Wow! Ha, get <laughs> oh. It was Punk's birthday today. Yeah, Robbie yeah, Hyde. Yes, it was. Fucking Libra cunt. Happy I birthday, Robbie Hyde. Thank I you. So, you don't get yeah. that cunty without both of those. So, so, so basically, now we're gonna have a, uh, a a situation between Lethal and uh, and Darby Darby for a match. Yeah. yeah, and oh, I forgot to say this. So apparently, uh, Eddie was oh. weighing in on the Moxley uh, uh, Penta match, and uh, basically oh. putting Moxley over because obviously that's his boy. But uh, moving yeah. on to the main event, uh, I mean, again, this match. I mean, again, I always like to see. Penta just I'm like doing his thing in a singles match, not just in a tag match. And even though it wasn't like what <laughs> we, in a lot of ways, would like to see as far as like a pay per view quality match, it still did the job. Uh, I'll give it right. to you, Joe, and you, Dave. What did you guys think? Wow, we didn't miss any matches. That felt longer. Jesus, sorry. Little Miro. Miro, yeah. Little, a little Sierra. Hmm? I, I don't what think you think, Dave? anybody. I didn't hear what Dave said. I said I heard him. I missed it. Cero miedo. Oh, okay. We we are talking about that, right? We're yes. talking about the boxing. Yeah, we're on the boxing yeah. match. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you were hoping to. Talk Which about. wasn't long. It wasn't long. It was. Uh, actually, no. It was. Uh, I think it was about twenty minutes. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, what? Right at like nine thirty something. All right. No, like no, no. Wait a minute. They started wow. wrestling. They they actually locked up at one forty three. So seventeen minutes. Yeah, and, and they left it. Uh, what, yeah, but uh, it started a little bit earlier. So and again, they, close enough. Twenty minutes. So no, it was, it was not twenty than, minutes. Uh, I, I the match was no, it 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 a little long. No, the match was not. Minutes. They wrestled but, for ten yeah. minutes. They wrestled for ten. Regardless, minutes. the segment we t- we counted from when it come when they come out. I meant the match felt short. Is what I was saying. Like that. It did. It did. Yes, yes, it did, like and um, I'm surprised that they didn't try to. I would have taken this opportunity to show again, highlight what Penta just did this past weekend, where he got in this. I think it was this past weekend, wasn't Mustafa, where they had the mask versus mm-hmm. mask match, and he took yeah. uh, and basically, yes. I guess he retired that Mexican uh, uh, wrestler. But which, by the uh, way, was, was an amazing. I match. didn't watch it, but apparently, it was bloody as fuck, and I did it see was some so of it. Oh. Yeah, so that's the type of thing, and and plus, uh, Penta has been in uh, Lucha Underground, I, yeah. and that shit it, got it bloody as fuck too. And this guy is willing to and capable of really putting himself through a the lot best, of the best that I ever saw Penta. The best that I ever saw Penta, like in, at least in a blood situation, other than what's going on in AAA, was the, the tag match that he and his brother had with the Bucks at All Out last year, mm-hmm. and that dude was pouring buckets even through his mask. And I'm like, dude, this guy's a main event. There adventure. was other times where his mask was ripped off, and he was bitten into, and he was cut, and yeah, uh, that this guy, that's his, that's his forte, in my opinion. He can certainly pull that off. Ooh. You know, the mask half hanging down his face. He's bleeding profusely, <laughs> and the match is still going at 110 miles an hour. You know? Oh, wow. Mm. I can't wait to see that. I got One badass it. dude, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Dude, like, and okay, I, so I would have. Point, Sorry, point I'm just trying to make is. I would have thought that they would have continued. Match. I thought they would have continued with uh, just pushing that, especially after this past win. To uh, to make this match a little better, so I have to agree with Joe that it sort of did fall somewhat short. Could have it wasn't a bad match, good technical. You know what makes uh, sense though on that? Uh, uh, like, uh, Head wise, like what makes you think like, oh, this makes sense is he hit him with that fucking pile tri- driver deal that he did. Great move. And then I feel like you'd be very uh, desperate if someone hit you with that. Like I gotta win this <laughs> now, or this motherfucker hits me with another one of those and something else, I might lose this. So he hits him real quick with those two DDTs. And that yeah. looked very psychology-wise. That's the word. But it it made good, sense. It was a really good move. It was a really good way to, to swing it in there. And, uh, yeah. The, the, yeah, the, the ending was amazing. Uh, I thought great. that was very believable and everything. You know? Joe, uh, you might want to play some of the donations uh, referring to. Uh, I mean, I I like the match. I wish we would have gone in it, uh, like on a pay-per-view or something because I was really looking forward to this match. Between there's more to easily have been a 35 45 minute match, uh, easily oh, yeah, and yeah. bloody as fuck. 
but we needed that last five minutes for the storytelling place. So right. I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch of Pentagon versus Moxley. I'd like to see that too, to be quite honest. Mm-hmm. Yes. Moxley against Renee. I mean, I might, <laughs> I might be a little Video's bit in the bottle, there. but my sense is okay. What the fuck is that mean? Y'all seen the pictures from the one Eric movie that have been released? Oh. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. Zach, Zach Efron wait, looks crazy. Wait, I haven't ripped. heard about. I haven't heard he about the Mount like Eric Jerry movie. Than Kevin. Yes, but called, my family dead. That I need the body. It's just like, what the fuck did this He's guy do? Like wait, did this really. movie come into theaters or something? Yes. Yeah, I don't well, know. Is that a theater movie or is it like a TV I, show? It's actually or? supposed to be geared towards theaters. Whatever happened to that Hulk Hogan it, it, biopic it, it, thing well, that was coming that's, out? That's from that's from that movie. Oh, it is that. That's okay. Happening. Something, brother. Fuck yeah, that's that. pretty what? cool. I don't know. It's going to go to theaters. Right. In this uh, okay, so I guess we're going to move on. Um, great match. Uh, Moxley um, wins it. And... Who came out? The fucking Edge looking tall motherfucker. Looks like Edge. Oh, that's Morrissey. Okay. That's in other words, uh, that was Morris Big Cass. Uh, what, what's like what's his former name? Group. Big Cass. Oh, that's former Big Cass. Big Cass. So. Oh, that's Big Cass. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. he really he's is. seven feet tall I mean, and you can't other than the, that. Other than the, um, the guy with the very, you know, uh, conjoined head, um, the Indian guy who uh, works with, what's his name? You guys know who I'm talking about. But mm. um, the the huge giant. Nobody else matches Morrissey with his fucking you height. You mean the you mean the great Kali uh, wannabe? Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't want to call him that, but uh, yeah, oh, that's his, what I call him. He, he reminds head, me of the great Kali, no, but he can move a little better. He, 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 he really want the, the, the scientific. I didn't want to go this, but uh, microcephalic uh, is the uh, name of uh, Whoa, he's the type of head uh, of structure so his brain he looks like a child i guess on the top of his skull but the guy's like eight foot tall he's the only Wait, guy that's really uh, 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 what he, he, he's the... he's with jay lethal right he's and with jay lethal dude? and that other guy i can't remember his name the ending i don't know the I other dude's guy. name i don't really care about that but, again, so, but we're okay so morrissey comes out and uh, jesse is right to, to point it out uh Looks a little the, the bit firm. like Edge, but he is yeah. he's working with the firm, and he is he is one of the strongest guys in AW. Period. Dude, he's a big period. son of a bitch. And I can't wait to see this guy maybe go a little more, you know, on singles action and stuff. Dude, Vince but is this, probably already a monster. Taken, the guy was a monster in WWE. He's a monster now. He's he's. They wouldn't got to get him back. Oh, hold up, hold he up. He did. He if, did if actually gonna... at one point. He did sort of like go through a rough time, and you could see that he gained a lot of weight. He was working in the Indies. This man has cleaned oh. up so well. And Wait, this guy is a fucking monster now. I don't, yep. I don't remember him being like a monster in the WWE. I remember him with Enzo, and then a really shitty well, single run. You see him work with Enzo in fucking NXT. This is yeah. when I actually did watch NXT. See, that's the problem. They did not bring. They don't bring those people up right. Ray Riot is one of the only people they brought up right. They let him right. do his same gimmick and let him do it bigger, but they don't do that. Fuck them for that. Well, the point I'm just trying to make is that uh, yes, you know the 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 firm came out um, after MJF. Uh, well, MJF came out. He after came out the, after the firm came out, right? Yeah, but uh, you know he was you know hesitating. Then he left, and then he just came running in, he and uh, you could see that they they'd filmed uh, Blackpool Combat Club stuck in a room and stuff. Um, so they were trying to get out to, to fight, and this is where supposedly he's going face. He's not going face. This is just uh, what, him. What did mean? Look, I look at it like this. You, you said earlier, right? Somebody said he's stone cold or whatever. Exactly. He'll always be a prick, and I hope he never loses that. But this, okay, but so think of, think of it this way. Think of it this way, though, is that MJF flounces his money. He's like, it, this, he's, been, he's been slighted now. He's been insulted. He's going to come out and yeah. say this is not going to be acceptable. So guess what? All of you in the firm, guess what? I paid my own hard-earned money to bring these boys out here to back me up. The guy yeah. can put together a fucking all-star team of whoever he wants. Oh and, yes. people be like, and, and, and you know, somebody gets the microphone and they're like, yeah, I don't like this guy. I don't like MJF. But he's paying the money and you can be yeah, here. I'm going to kick your ass. There's so many people, there's so, so many people that fucked up. They exactly. Can so them. there's a potential oh, with that that uh, you could do just about anything with that storyline. 
you got two weeks to pan it out too, and then exactly. you could bring the whole bitch together. But dude, yeah, that was some good like shit. When remember Rock before Survivor Series, he was like a face for a little bit of time. He, he was like, starting to become fake. mankind. Remember? Yeah, I, I, I kind of remember, kind of remember that. But what I think, yeah. Survivor Series. It was yeah. all scammed. And, yeah. He was me of Triple H when he came back from injury, almost. What the hell? When's in who? When Rock joined I'm... the corporation. So Anna J. No, but I'm tonight. No, I got that. I, I... Call me Anna. Anna. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. No, I just said Anna J. Look good tonight. Call me Anna. Mm, I love me some Anna J. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Dude, well, tonight was hey, Gargan. Yeah, yeah, you know, I met Anna J. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> She opened for me in a second. I love it. Best line of the night, my best line of the night, MJF. Fucking, do we have any devil worshippers in the house? God. There was a lot of I, things. I, know, I thought said. it was like Gargle was pissed because I thought that was pretty. Oh, <laughs> well, Gargle piss was fucking hilarious too. But he could have said Gargle has come, but you know we weren't. There. <laughs> no, they wouldn't have lied that. Well, it doesn't. Did they tell him it was okay to say you fucking Mark? <laughs> Tony Khan basically said this well, you've got well, this, well, you've got this blank Khan card here you they, they, hang, on, hang on hang on they, they started first no, I just said uh, Tony Khan okay. that night basically told MJF this is your blank card use it how you want okay didn't know that right. now, he also, Dan, obviously, what? because the W the oh. WB uh, people were there in the uh, front row and stuff Tony Khan's like this is our time <laughs> so you know what MJF Whatever, whatever grievances you've got, lay them out. Bring it up. Kind of like, and, and he's like, "I'll pay the Punk fucking, Punk. I'll pay the fines, I'll pay the fines of whatever you fucking so, say." So I don't isn't care. that what they did uh, with CM Punk for the pipe bomb? Uh, no, that was slightly different. No. CM Punk for contract for coming to an no, end because they gave him an open mic in the hope of him staying. That's yeah, what but, I mean, though. You but it wasn't saying open... fuck. It wasn't saying fuck, and I believe. No, I don't mean times... that. I mean, I mean, they said, uh, you know, you got something to say. Go ahead. That's what I mean. No, that was a little. I believe that was a little more coordinated and such. This Got was, it. you know, TK right. basically saying, "Yeah, this is uh, this is something I know you got uh, big feelings on." So you know what? He didn't want to lose MJF. He's like, "You say whatever you got to say." Yeah, buddy. basically, he yeah. recognized where things. Like so. Dude, when they made, how about when they made the chairs scissor each other? I started fucking dying. Oh my god! Yeah, I was dying. Like the stupidest shit cracked shit me up. Bomb. Oh. Vinny Marcelli is going to WWE with Braino Kingdom. Oh, you think that? You think Vinny Marcellia, uh, my buddy, uh, or what's he now? Vincent. Vincent is going to go to WWE. Alex Oli, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, God. Qu don't call yourself Vincent. We think of Vincent. you as the or, million dollar man. Or let, uh, let him go to uh, AEW with Virgil? his other buddies. You mean Virgil. Right? We'll bring yeah, him. but still, his fuck Vincent, the lonely fuck face. <laughs> lonely Virgil. Lonely what a great time that was. Still, Don't you remember it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I'm leave this brief case I'm right here. Allison Tuckwab showing up. Right here. I'm gonna leave this brief Allison, case thank right you so here. much. Uh, uh, I'm run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, you big whore. Run, run, you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Maybe if he had a rag on his head. That's airplane music right there, right in the new building. Can't stop looking at the cigarettes since you guys pointed that out. I'm losing it. Run, you fat bitch. I was just trying to light up, and then this motherfucker left his package. Hey, man. What the fuck? Thank you, Alice. <laughs> Larry Funk lives. I'll tell oh, you man. what, Joe. I'll tell you what. Yo, Joe, you're, you're you fucking, can't do Larry Funk. Don't my even voice fucking hurts so much. Joe, his your, name. your uh your uh, scissor song fucking is too addictive. The other day I was fucking <laughs> I just couldn't get it out of my head. You know what I couldn't get Wait, out of which, my head was this. When I plan to act pompous, you, <laughs> you shall certainly know. That's it, you know, or, 
or the brand new uh, Dave Rose twenty three dollar donation. That is one of my favorite remix that you added. When I plan to act pompous, you you <laughs> shall. I think not you. today, dear boy. I love it. The circus Ooh. music. Dude. I music love it. Dude. I love it. You. Do- Yankee Doodles. Little when balls. I plan to act pompous, yes. I love you. You. When I plan to, to act pompous, there you go. I it sounds like something it. from the wall. What? <laughs> yeah. 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 Sounds very scary. Yeah. When, I plan, when I plan to act pompous, yeah, it sounds right. Yeah. It literally it's sounds like Pink Floyd's The Wall. No, no, oh, no. It's no it sounds like something, like something you would hear you in Willy meat. Wonka's tunnel. Right? That should be your if theme song. you don't song. eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. You just made the list. Well, I just wanted to say that you just made the list. So that's all I have to say. Well, 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 you, you know there are people on my list. I well, you know something, your piss. I've got autism, man. <laughs> and all you hey, man, I got autism. I'm gonna gargle your piss. But uh, William Regal will top you all by saying, "If you uh, don't make that into a T-shirt, like Joe, I'm telling you." Taz, hello, sir. Mr. Shivani, hello, man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. Little creme brulee, you. I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in there. I would, honestly. Oh, my God. Oh, you oh, little creme. We're rocking him. I agree, Joe. You, know, you should make that into a shirt. Oh, my God. I can't deal with it, dude. I think you should just do this parody of fucking, let's go to JR. I'm the bitch. Let's go to fucking. Uh, I'm the bitch. I'm yeah, there's the, you're yeah, there's so many t-shirts you should have already. He's had. like, oh my god. Ego's been doing this for obviously several weeks, and it's caught on. People love it and stuff. So he's running with it. So it's working. Oh I think Mon- and, uh, Monday Night Mid Card will be a good t-shirt when that comes out. Monday Night Mid Card for sure. Wait, is that an actual t-shirt to coming out? I'll make one. Yeah, I'll make one. People he's like, like I'm that saying, that the you t-shirt I buy from you if you make it. All right. There you go. Oh shit! I'll send it to you. Have to hear your apology T-shirt, and I'll write. I'll, I'll, I'll write on the back that it's stuff. lisp approved, and I'll just have big lips. <laughs> your lips. I didn't. Have, I didn't have the. Fuck you, t-shirt. Joe. Fuck you. You know what I? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna it zoom in. That should be a stamp that you include on some of your shirts. It's like you know, like a stamp, but uh, it says lisp approved. Can I put this no, on a shirt? Approved. No, 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 Joe. It should be. It should say autistic approved. You should, oh, you just the, lisp. Oh the Rolling Stones oh. logo with the lips. Yeah, right. Yeah. They'll smell all that stuff. That comes There's a lot out more drool around it. And do a and you know what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of just getting Dan Kennedy this picture of you right here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna trace out your lips and put your lips on a T-shirt and just write, "You just made the lisp," and it's just your lips. <laughs> oh my t-shirt. god! So, so am I gonna, there you go. So, Unfortunately, so we, Dan, you're not in gonna... Canada. Yeah, no, euthanasia is uh, free up here, so we could hook you up if you need. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, wait! Hey. Do the same yeah, I'm not uh, trying to kill myself. Maybe offer that to Jesse though. Wait, oh. no, you don't have to kill yourself. They do it for you. They do it for you. Minute, just, look at this. You know. Yeah. I just also, I will go to the with this photo of you, did you put your, like, did you put your mouth in uh, one of those uh, vacuum cleaner tubes yeah. where it just, like, yeah. that's, that's, causes that's, the that's, lips that's, to get so big? Or... That's just natural, Dave. Mm. No, he Uh-oh. used Botox. Yeah. Oh, so you've got, that you've means got your the, mom was trying to masturbate with a fucking vacuum. You've got the you Kylie Jenner inside. type. Uh, what did you say about my mom, you crippled prick? I just want I just want to say that, you know. I'll be honest. Uh, the other guy, I don't understand why they said that he had fish lips. I never got it. Thin lips don't seem to. <laughs> this is Dan, this is a Dan but, Kennedy's uh, lips right here. Me, I mean, those are your are fish lips. Those, those, those are your <laughs> lips. Oh those God. are your <laughs> lips right there. No, now, na- oh, naughty. That's your lips. Naughty. That's not. Those are your lips. Not good. That's those are your lips. Good at all, Joe. Those are your lips. I believe not. That's your lips. You got quite the muff. Gonna get struck, Joe. Those are his lips. Those are his lips. Look, they're his lips. I'm telling you. Those are his lips. I'm just saying. He's got AIDS. That's his lips. See, I didn't do it. No. How can I have AIDS before I'm a virgin? How can you have AIDS with lips like those? How can you be a virgin when you're playing those? That should be a donation, too. Walmart toilet seat. That's how. Oh! Oh. Oh. 
Allison. Oh my. Allison Tuckwa. A lot of things are gonna happen. What the fuck is happening? I'm a little sick tonight, as you can tell, everybody. I'm trying. You could get, you could have the thing I had, Joe. You know what? Maybe I do. Maybe I have what you had. I, just... I, I thought of that actually earlier. I was like, oh, it feels like my kidneys are dying. Yeah, that's what it's talking about. Oh, well. Can we please tell Allison that it's Joe Dante? I like it tonight. It was a good show Monday Night Raw sucked and SmackDown was okay. I wish Dante Adams was at Twin Maybe Packers went to suck so much. These are two different stories, so I don't confuse you guys. Yeah, I mean, Raw sucked. We all agree there. SmackDown was all right. I think people pretty much agree there. Wait, SmackDown hasn't happened yet this week. Are, well, I think she, she meant last, last week. She means last week. Last Dante Friday. Adams was a, at Twin Packer, went to suck so much. These are two different. Yeah, the Packers are in trouble. I mean, I, listen, I hate to say it for you Packers fans out there, but I said it the minute they played the Patriots. I was like, dude, this team is not good. Like, they are not – they're not going to the playoffs. No, like, no. what's really in trouble, Joe, is the fucking Patriots. No, the Patriots are in oh, trouble too. But, yeah, they but both have had enough titles. They're not going to – both teams yeah. are in trouble. No, we will never have enough win, Jesse. But you know what? I didn't think the Patriots are going to be good, but I thought the – you know, I, I, for hearing from a lot of the Packers fans – they seem to think, hey, man, we're going to go to the playoffs this year. And, like, no way. Well, dude, look at the Raiders, dude. Their famous fucking time they went to the Super Bowl and they lost, like, by every point. Like, what was it, 42 to 3? <laughs> yeah, or some bad. shit? Like 50 you, you could do great and get yourself there, but does that matter shit when the game comes up? Doesn't matter. Well, but, I mean, they just, it's just my point is that they thought, hey, we're going to the playoffs this year. And, like, the first That's three. What they thought. Well, the first three games of the season, it was like, nah, bro, your team, that's not going, you're not, that's a bad team. Like, they don't look good at all. Like, it's not, the Packers look, te look bad, like terrible. Wait, where are we now? We're not in the playoffs yet, right? That's still to come. Jeez, no, right? yeah, dude, we're halfway, not even, we're about halfway through the season, not even. Gotcha. Where is that Denver's going to fire their coach if they lose to Jacksonville Sunday? Well, yeah, just, I'll tell it ain't you. ain't all his fault. I'm yeah, just saying the Packers season. are in trouble. I knew the you know I know the Patriots aren't going to be that good, so I'm not really that I'm not like you know crazy. But I just saw. I, I'm Sunday. telling you, man. Green Bay fans were like, "We're going to do it," like and everything. And I was like, and once they once the Green Bay Packers struggled against the Patriots, I know they beat the Patriots, but it's just the idea that they struggled in that game like they did when they should have just nailed oh. us. And we can't beat the fucking Bears, so it's like, sure. dude, no, none of these teams are going. Bears, to oh, the Bears, You're lost to the, the Bears. The Bears ain't going anywhere. The Pats ain't going anywhere. The, Bears the Green the Bay Brown. Packers, no one's going anywhere. Teams you don't want to play. Uh -huh. oh, dude, right. do you ever notice you don't ever play the Bears or the Browns on a video game? Even you're like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, how long until those teams are renamed, especially the Browns? Yeah, yeah the shit's saying. He does gonna no, cut. You know, ask well, for the Bengals. The Bengals are gonna have to change their name. The, the Browns Bengals. are going to be renamed, and then the Patriots are going to be renamed. The Pats will be next because they're too patriotic. That's racist or what, something. What, the trees in it? Yeah, no, they'll, no, they'll say patriotism is like patriarchal or something it's weird, not, you know, whatever. Yeah, I honestly well, think dude. we should change our logo to a bear. We're No, we're going to be the rainbows. I told you, we're going to be the New England uh, <laughs> rainbows. Yeah, yeah we, we, that, that doesn't yeah, mean we can't have a rainbow bear, like a fucking oh, care bear yeah, or like something. A, a care bear? Care oh, bear's like, ah, ah, coming out yeah, of your soul we can be, we can be the new we can be the New England care bears. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Par the, partner, that, with, fuck partner with the fucking Hasbro. Partner with Hasbro? <laughs> It's a great idea. Don't feel suicidal. Um, he doesn't know what he's doing. Or, or no, they just make the Patriots guy like gay. So instead of being like, "I'm a Patriots guy," he's like, and he's like, ah, like and like rainbow. I'm a the hats are rainbow. Guy. The Gatriots. Oh my God, we've got it. The Gatriots. The Gatriots, bro. Oh, New England clam. Gates. New England clam backdoor <laughs> chowder. Wow. <laughs> the New England transgenders. That'd be a good one too. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. yeah. Which you know what, Joe? Do you use? The New Let's England cum guzzlers. We're probably going to rename ourselves to New England Dunkin' Donuts. That would be kind of oh, funny. Oh, the... Dunkin' Donuts sucks. What a pass. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, wait a minute. Hey, is you it, take is that it? back, you fucking pisshead. Duncan, don't be Boston. I will stand by that because I am from New England You're and from Boston, stuff. and I have, to, and I have to have blatant bland Duncan loyalty. Dunkin'. They're fucking cops. Don't they have you know Boston what? Market up there, but it's called the Market? And the Boston Market. Oh, well, what would that, yeah, because yeah, otherwise it's a double dumb Pizza is just called pizza. We have a Boston Market that's yeah. unrelated to the Boston Market you're thinking of. Oh, yeah, uh, market basket up there. Dude, we also yeah, have. You don't even get pasta and pizza. It's like that's not even Italian. You don't want pizza Boston in Boston. Party. It sucks. I like Quincy Market. Yeah, Quincy oh, Market's Jesus. a nice little place. What getting shot outside Quincy of it? Or what? Boston oh. marathons. No, 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 no Jesse. Okay. You're thinking of Methodo Mile. I'm no. thinking of Brockton. No, Quincy. Quincy Market is like inside the city of Boston. It's in a weird spot. It's not near like. Oh. It's not near like the city that I lived in or near it's Brockton. It's also known as Faneuil Hall. Yeah, it's near Faneuil Hall, which is like in the city of Boston. It's weird. It's no. Arsenio Hall. You're racist. Arsenio Hall. <laughs> I want to suck Tom Brady off. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, I, so what would you? Hey, what, what, did what, you know there's a museum there? That's oh, like yeah. hidden. No. Well, wait a minute. Which one? Because I've been to several museums out there. There's like an old civil, not civil war, revolutionary war museum there that oh, I yeah. just found out like a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so I think I know it, now. Maybe I don't know about it, but I do know that there's one right near Faneuil Hall. It's like in the back alley, and there's oh, like how many you got to go to? Like for every floor, you got to go to a there's three museum. floors. Give me one museum. Well, there's a lot of them in Boston, to be honest. There's a I lot. I mean, we got the science oh. museum, we got the natural history museum, we got the modern art museum. Nothing beats the science museum. I love the science museum to death. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I really like the lightning shows at the Boston Science Museum. You know what? You Those know what? Cool. You know what I loved is being a Star Trek fan. In fact, uh, D you know, Dave might like this, to be honest. Is that when you go to the science museum, they have a little the Mugar so Omni Theater. And the Mugar, the Mugar Omni Theater. Every time, I, I'm sure to this day, it's still the same way. Um, when when the theater starts, before they put on the presentation, the introduction is done by Leonard Nimoy, and that introduction to me is legendary because I went there as a kid with my father and mother. I went there as a kid after my father died, and I went there on field trips with school, and I even went there on, on my own just because I like going to the Science Museum at one point, taking the Red Line T into Boston. Dude, now it's a fucking... Now it's insane. Now I have to drive an I mean, hour to get there. Oh, oh don't, Joe, you have no idea. The, the Boston transit system is a fucking nightmare. Oh, no, I know what's going on with the Red Line and everything is broken down and shit right now. I know. No, no, Joe. Some, of the part, some parts of the Green Line are broken down. No, I know. I know the whole fucking shit. Do you have a driver's license? Damn. They were all fucking <laughs> no, built. No, Dave, you want to hear it? Dave, you want to hear it? Given I was right next to the public transportation, that's what I rely on. D Dave, this place. Yeah, but so you, let me, you, I got to show you this. You're going to have a driver's license regardless more, of whether or not owning a vehicle. I'm working on getting my driver's license. How old are you again? Shit. 27. Dave, I'm going to show you this. On it. Dave, you would love this. Honestly, dude, Dave, like if we were like if, if it was ever possible. No, you know what I think Dave would like? I think Well, Dave hang on like a second. That. Let me tell him. Let me tell him first and then you tell me what do you think he'd like? Let me get this out cuz my throat's fucking killing me. Um, Dave, if you ever came to Boston, bro, I would I'd go here with you. Like you I think you'd like it. So the Science Museum is wonderful. See this? That's the Mugar Omni Theater, right? On the outside, you can see that, right? Dave yeah, I do. All right, so you can see it. All right, so there you go. So I'm telling you, man, Dave, I think you'd like this place. That's the outside, but inside theater looks like this. It's like a towering theater, you know, where you feel like you're immersed in the theater. We have similar stuff. The IMAX, I don't know if it's IMAX there, but yeah. No, we, we, no, we have IMAX, but this isn't This isn't like IMAX. The this theater. Is, it, it's not like IMAX. It's like a weird dome-shaped type of theater, but I know I know IMAX too. But also, oh. you, but you got to remember, Dave, this existed like in back in the day. Like, I mean, like back in the, I went there in like the early 90s or so, right? So whenever you Joe. go, whenever you go there though, this is the intro to the theater. This Joe, I think, we're, I think we're thinking of the same building. A conventional oh, we are. Well, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Cinema. You, you're talking about where they show the star shows and, and shit, right? Right. The Science Museum. Oh, the Mugar Omni yeah. Theater. Was it no, just because, the museum or was it a museum? Because this, the Science uh, Museum had two oh theaters now, Joe. They have, like, the movie theater and then they have the where they show the star show. I don't know, man, but I'm trying to get this Take point marbles across. marbles out of your mouth, Dan, please. Um, yeah, I don't know. There, there might be a new thing over there that I don't know about. No, because I was just there recently, Joe. Uh, they have a new movie theater where they show like the 3D movies and shit, and oh. then they have the, then they have the, 
place where they show the star shows and shit. Yes. Do they still have the Mugar Omni Theater, though, with the Leonard Nimoy intro? I haven't been to the that theater recently, but I know it's still there. Thank God. I mean, I, bet, I hope that place never... I love that place. I hope it never goes away. I'll fucking cut myself. <laughs> Leonard. Where is Leonard Nimoy? We'll put the rap. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so rap. back to what I was saying. So you've got no license at 27, despite uh, it being... Irregardless why? why? Of, uh, I live right next to the fucking okay, city. No, no, like because if you ever need to rent a car or to drive... There's an emergency. You need to utilize. Yeah, but I don't really, I don't really have a need to. You, you're going to use public, public transit. Speed. Okay, so you move to a new location. You're going to use public transit. Speed. Huh? I mean, I, I live right next to. A I, license I, I, is also a great proof. You know what, of, though, Dave? Identity. You want him to put people's lives in yeah, danger by going around. ID is for. That's why he's so keeping wonder, people out dude, of. Uh, if it's that big of an emergency, come on, what a time. I'm just saying, you drive anyway. I can't understand three you. people at once, so somebody's going to have to Go ahead, Dave. Guys. Dave, I, I live right next to a bus, and I live right next to a train. I don't really need a license. You actually You're going to wait for the you, bus while your mom has a heart attack or something? You actually do. And the, the no, fact that you're not right recognizing down, it and being right 27 and not even... So you said I you were working. You were working towards getting a license. At 27, you might as well just give up on life altogether. I'm sorry. Oh, and, uh, better you late than never. Uh, you should give on life. Give up on no, life. Just, trust trust just, me, there's people like that don't know. You, you, you can do it. The first strike here. Come on. He's okay. He'll be all right. <laughs> well, you know what, Dave? Why, why, why don't you go get eaten by a polar bear, Dave? Well, <laughs> dude, you're fine, with, uh, they, they, they come up to me they're like, ah, this is rotten meat. I don't want it. So. You want to know something, Dave? Wait, you just made the list. You just made the list, no, bitch. No, no, you no, just made no, the no, list. Dave hasn't made the list yet. Well, no, dude, Dave, really? have you seen Dogma? Where he goes, what are you going to do? Hit me with that fish? She's like going <laughs> to kill him with a fish. Well, Dave could show you how to kill people with the fish. It's true. Oh, dude, he's got the swing, everything. But, yes, oh, anyway, yeah. whatever. Let's move on. I just love the Mugar in the theater, and I love the Leonard Nimoy intro. And I've, uh, can't so did we even there. get to the MJF, like, the ending properly? Of uh, AEW? Um, no, we really didn't get to the very, very end too much, I guess. But it's... We so, sort of did. Mm, that's all we had left, right? Well, basically, all you got to know is, is that MGF is pretty much undermining the fans as well as everybody, including John Moxley. The basically giving Moxley sure. a false sense of, of security, thinking, hey, these guys are against Ooh. me. When realistically speaking, at the pay-per-view, it's all going to be some type of schmoz. So when he gets the title, it's going to be uh, that much of a... So you, you know, think the whole victory. thing's a work. Yeah. It's not... None of it's real. It's a work. Uh, no, nah, dude. They're pushing... Dude, you don't get a crap. On. He's getting fucking cheers. You don't... You let him be a prick, right? But you still have to push him as a somewhat baby face now. Because it's that would be a, the no, not necessarily. That's a Vince not McMahon move if they do that. That's Rick a Vince Flair McMahon thing. But that's was getting what makes great it reactions. Work. But Ric Flair was getting great reactions even though he was a stark heel in the 80s in his heyday. Okay. So, okay. You know what I mean? Again, no, this is I'm another not saying, reason. I, I want to see him as a gray area. I don't want black or white. I don't want like a heel, not heel. I want him to be both because I want him to still make you hate him. But you're like, but I want him to win. Oh, damn it. Right, no, but even it's so, beyond even, that. He's so far beyond a tweener. He's better no, than but, that. But, but you got to understand this, though, dude. It's that at the end of the day, it's not necessarily just about the short term. It's the long term. That's Would what I'm rather... talking about. No, no, but that's the thing, dude. If he's going to be a legitimate heel, and especially if he transitions from a legitimate heel to a tweener, it's going to be very difficult for him to go back as a full fledged heel, especially when the fans are just oh, going to like him anyway. Jericho shouldn't have ruined his gimmick then. then and I disagree with you on that, Rustafa, because well, Jericho at- already fucking ruined it. He said, oh, you're going to be babyface someday. No, right, no, which is another reason why he should have still kept the kayfabe to just, like, you know, not like bring it all out. There. He should have never brought that up. What I an mean, idiot. I, I, I disagree with you, Rick I think he still can go heel. I mean, there's a ton of ex- huh? examples He's, of uh, wrestlers the heel there the whole time. Time. That, went heel, yes. that have gone babyface and then gone back to heel and been. No, no, I never forever. said go babyface. I said tweener. <laughs> yes. It's it's hard hard to be be a get, here's a great example right there. It's Stone Cold, and then you had The Rock. Both and then good you got tweeners. Triple H. You got Triple H, you got The Rock, you got Stone Cold, no, Triple Austin, H, you got Shawn Michaels. I was the only one cheering him in Staples Center out of fucking 20,000. He was fucking heel. Triple H so is not, was let's, not a let's tweener. Let's not cheering him was, in the let's, 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 not, let's not put a glass ceiling on fucking MJF. The guy's got it. So let's, no, let's dude, just he doesn't break that shit. He's already broken oh, yeah. it. He's no, 
Yeah, it's Jim people MJF is the best. Him, like, we're stop over here. He's gonna be. He's not gonna blah blah. No, like, dude, like, we're trying to grow, fucking dude. do a show. You. So we have to say something. MJ, dude, he's he's right though. What if they decide to do that? What if they decide that it's all a work? <laughs> it's all a work. Oh and yeah, it's he, gonna be a work, dude. <laughs> God damn it. No, but what if he's still all heel? He's still with everything. It's not what it seems. He's mm-hmm. right. What if they go that route? It's all a ruse. That, that and why, would, and why that shouldn't would be, it be amazing? Because because here's the reason why. It's not the 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 key element here. The money's not in chasing you know the 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 uh, the baby face it's chasing the heel mjf is the best heel aew has got right now in terms of going title. for a whole year especially even more so of a year and he still has the title after january 1st yeah. and is still contracted Ooh, wait who's had the title the longest for safa yeah. uh, everybody um, anybody i believe i i will oh moxley has had moxley has had the most title reigns no, uh, I'm talking Omega, about Omega, 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 Omega. Omega. No, well, no, didn't Jericho hold it for like a year? No, He's six months. Omega, Omega had it longer. Okay, so, Moxley's yeah. had more title reigns. Yeah. No, the, no, I want to know about the length, like how. And, yeah, and I the girth. Like, well, I think Omega, Jericho. Omega got it like December six, and then he dropped it at the full gear last year. So almost. Okay, so eight. that's pretty it was long. Like Eleven and a half well, months. So nobody's had a year. At this no. point, I think MJF he deserves at least a year or to no, have I that say, time. I say Omega had it for three hundred forty-six days. So. I would say give it to him for. Oh, he crashed. <clears throat> I have my cam on. I'm for it. And, and also, Can mind we- you, it, even even so, I even guarantee, I even foresee this. Like he'll be a merch monster, even as a heel, even though oh, Jericho unless himself, he says "fuck you," you're not going to buy my shirts. I'm not going to have it. No, but, <laughs> no, but the fact his merchandise are going to, especially with new concepts that he'll come up with in promos, are going to go through the roof. Uh, will but he dude, sell I more? really like the idea of not having shirts. Like you know, Edge was the one that turned me on, and then I think. Uh, Jericho didn't want to didn't sell shirts when he was a heel. And then that. all of a sudden AEW comes around and he's selling shirts and he's a heel. So. He's a bit dude. He's I love Jericho. I hope <laughs> meet him. We get to shake hands and go to a maiden show. But I fucking don't respect him as much anymore for what he's doing in wrestling. How gimmick go and say he's gonna I told him we're gonna be a baby face. How the fuck are you gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was a dumb thing. Me. I mean, he he wants put... everybody out. He told Punk, he said to Tony, let's fire Punk. He wants everybody out of his way so he no. can be the guy. Let, let's face it, Jesse. Him. What, him doing that was absolutely a way to sabotage MJ. Either way, Jericho is so f- shit. Like, like uh, Jim Cornette said, isn't he so proud of himself? Look at him. Well, you should be, dude. He's making all that money. Plus, he signed an extension on yeah, his contract. Yeah, but, but the, the, only would, money, but the only reason he would... The only reason he meant was you're drop. full of your own shit and you eat it like it's goddamn breakfast. Like, you're just munching on your own garbage. Like you No, for real. Jericho, I don't respect him in the ring. Not as a worker. Oh. But you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Don't give Tony any advice. He's better without you. No, is Jericho's the new respect? Hogan. Jericho's the new Hogan. He's all about fucking him. Yes, he wants, yes, he wants to be. He wants to be the guy, excited. even though he's twenty years past his fucking prime. Oh, he got it. That's Your right. Last, I mean, that's you know not work that crowd's you loving you Jericho you tonight. Know what? Fuck Chris Jericho. How dare you say that? You I don't agree with that. Time I waited for an autograph. Fuck Chris Jericho. Oh, yeah. He I love Jericho. Go back to the sty. Uh, no, for real. I, I respect Why are you mad at Jericho? He is, what? he is Hulk Hogan. He's trying to get wow. over. Well, everybody else is down. Yeah, he's he's Hulk Hogan. Actually, you know, part of my criticalness about him has been that he was trying to put pe- too many people over. He's trying to help too many people. When, like, you think so? I really do because I think if he will, you know, otherwise he'd be. Like he'd just be the AEW champion for like three years, or he'd be back and forth yeah, with the no, AEW yeah, title. I need the AEW championship. He's still he he stepped the aside. Shit. But he's not. Ju- it's not black or white. He's not just a jerk. He's not just trying to do the right thing. It's like he- I think he's a good guy, but at the same time, he knows Fozzie doesn't mean shit. What he knows that. 
What do you mean what, he knows what that? What are you saying? He doesn't, Anytime he knows Fozzie that comes to he, town, he, they fucking sell out almost. That doesn't matter. Of yeah. wrestling fans. You ever, okay, that's not the point. The point is he Fozzie. fucking knows that he has to make a bigger deal out of things than they are. So how do you do that? You put the bigger guys above you down a little. You make the way, but you still let the young guys get over. Okay, I, I, get, I think I, I finally... I get, wait, wait a minute. Oh, let me just rewind this. I think I finally understand what you're trying to say. Now, I want to say this. I don't know if I agree with this, what you're saying. And this is a bit of a conspiracy type of thing. But what Jesse is saying is he has a little bit of a conspiracy that Jericho, on purpose, is saying things like, oh, yeah, I told him he's going to be a baby face to sort of sabotage MJF. And he's done several other things to sabotage other people. That's what you're basically saying. That this is all sort of a, like part of a plan in his head. Does that sound like Hogan, Joe? Well, but I I don't think he. I really don't think he's doing that. I think he's just. I, don't think he does it on purpose. I well, I'll say that. Jesse, your mic went to hell. I don't know what happened, but it sounds like shit now. But um, it, you know, I I think that he. Well, no, because if he didn't do it on purpose, then he's not Hogan. I, I think he's literally just... Come on, yo. He's smart enough to know what the fuck he says. On I the think he's no, used to talking off purpose. the record. He's used to talking off the record about breaking the fourth wall and breaking Thank kayfabe. And, and so he was You're breaking right. kayfabe, but he didn't think about, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Later Thank on, he probably did. Exactly but that's not some I'm evil plan. But no, that is, you were saying he's like Hogan. I think he's just made a mistake when he no, said that. Okay, he does no, does that all the time because he did the same thing when, when he was talking about the ROH title. He said, that's one title I've never gone for, and I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to win it. And I remember he was on commentary when he said that. Then yeah. Him, no, no, I love, listen, I love Jericho. No, I, I don't think, dude, put it this way, dude. I, I don't he's agree with any of this. He's not doing it on purpose. I don't believe that. Well, then, I believe it's what, a different thing. So but what he is trying to do on purpose is help everybody. That's what he's trying to. What he's trying to do yes, on purpose is help everybody. Yes, yes, you're right. So I don't. I, I guess that, I don't know what you're saying. I wish you would have just said. I wish no, you actually. No, 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 I'm dude. You just said it a minute. ago. No, but I wish you actually like, believe. I wish you were like. Sure, no, I believe he's doing bad things to people and he's Hogan. Like that would make sense. But we this don't make sense. Like what you're saying. No, you just said it though. That that like he he didn't realize that what he was saying was going to do certain things, but he he wants to help people. However, he also wants to protect his spot, we, but it's hard to balance that. Well, give me the example Even of the things he does. Give me the example of the things he does that doesn't that protects his spot. Making sure, asking for Punk to be fired. <clears throat> well, but that was a reaction to the guy. You know what happened? Uh, what he said on uh, you know in the yeah, back. Yeah, but then why did he say it at the scrum? He was after Punk, wasn't he? Not. Yeah, he told Tony Khan that something went down, but. You know, why would he yeah. say that? No, but he, no, he should have said no. on the scrum that, like, no, okay, so he fucked up putting MJF shit on the line. He said, I told him he's going to be babyface. He doesn't like me. He doesn't, he, uh, fuck you. Yeah, but that's but, just oh, a I cutesy mean, little like, thing he said that, like, yes, and to be honest, Jesse, 15, about 15,000 people heard him say that. Okay, so my point being, he didn't do that to sabotage him. That's my point. Right, he so then what? So I don't agree with your points at all. Then that he's like I said, Hogan because of Dan Kennegan. Oh well, I mean, Hogan's different. I, I thought he had a good point there. He's kind of like a Hogan. He's protecting his spot. Hey, that doesn't. Work I don't for think me. he's even doing that. I don't think Jericho's protecting well, his spot. Well, you also think he put Booker T over without thinking he's just a fucking N word. So what the fuck is it? Well, I know. I, I think. I I think that it's but it is potential that Hogan put Booker T over because he thought, well, you know, this guy's gonna fail and then I, they'll call me again. That's what there I. There you go. That's you a conspiracy, though. That's that's a that's a theory that I had. That's not. That's he, what, he, so he, I, dude, what am I saying? I don't know. Anything. Well, that's what I'm saying. What you're saying is sort of, I think it's a bit reaching. I think Jericho has really done nothing but try to help everybody. You know, I and, agree. And, and, and sometimes he hurts people, but it's not on purpose. And it's not to hold his, yeah, it's not even to hold his spot. I mean, Hogan was trying to help people his, in TNA, but his look spot how is held. He has no spot to try to hold. He's the top two or whatever paid guy in well, the company. But, and now he's extension okay. on his contract. He yeah, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, but if he nowhere. gets rid of CM Punk. If he gets rid of CM Punk, though, because see, CM There's Punk is another there. guy. Hang on, motherfucker. CM Punk's another guy in Tony Khan's ear, right? So, therefore, if you get rid of <clears throat> Punk, you're one of the biggest stars of the last 30 fucking years that is in Tony Khan's ear. I agree that, that he probably was annoyed with CM Punk. Jericho was probably annoyed with Punk. 
He probably saw CM Punk gobbling Tony's ass. He probably saw Tony not understanding and was probably annoyed. Jericho probably was. Like, what the fuck, dude? This guy's trying to get in here. He's ruining everything. So, But I, I don't think that that's him protecting his spot. I think he was literally okay. more. I would say that is more Jericho actually looking out for Tony Khan and looking out for the locker I was just going to say, was he protecting Tony? I think, he, I think he was protecting the whole company. I think he was like, Jesus, this guy's fucking up the company. Like, or no, this is no, out Joe, of sorts. Yes. Joe, he I wanted to control the narrative. Jericho had, I think Jericho had sour grapes because when CM Punk <clears> left, he didn't do his fucking podcast. That, well, that's that might be part of it a little bit. I, I would be mad too. But then again, maybe I wouldn't want him to do my podcast. We end up taking need a lawyer again. But no, I don't. I don't think. Uh, no, he, I don't think it's as there. sinister as anyone would think. I, I I do think that Jericho is the is like maybe fighting over Daddy a little bit. You know what I mean? Like Tony Khan's mine. I I'll That's be a better a way to put it. But but I think we. I think everybody here would agree that if you could have anybody who's somebody who could whisper you know stuff to Tony that could help Tony, I think Jericho would be a better person to be whispering yes, things I to Tony. I still agree with that. He but, is the guy. Triple H, that was- there's a clip that came out earlier today of Triple H uh, addressing potentials of Punk going back to WWE and uh, you guys might want to listen to it but uh, I really do because I says, do he says show. you know never say never but yes thank want. God because uh, I think Vince would have never Wait, <laughs> I, I, I think I think I see I think I saw that clip is it the same clip where he said it depends. I got it right here. Let's listen to it. Let's, let's hear it. it, it yeah. I think at any point in time, if somebody in this business, it's a funny thing. Like people say, would you take the call? I, I don't know that I can't think of anybody in the business that if they called me, I wouldn't take their phone call, whether in the business or whatever. Right? I would answer the phone. I think we would have a conversation about it. Can I call you? But again, um, yeah, Joe, you get know, Punk you worked with us on, on the Fox Hello. show. Uh, what a year ago, um, and there was opportunities there. There were people around each other at all times. Um, yes, you know. I, I, again, I'll never say never, but the desire needs to be there on all sides to make things happen. Look, it, it, so there you go. It's so wait, ambiguous, mean- but it's still open ended. Right. It's open ended, but oh, dude, he's not Vince McMahon. Vince wait. McMahon, and he, he hates Vince also, McMahon, and but it, it shows that Triple H is a pragmatist. And he's willing to yeah. do business. He's willing to. Yep. I mean, do what's I him mean, and Punk would gladly do business, even no, but, if they didn't no, like. But see, that's I the like, thing is Triple H doesn't hold grudges like Punk does. I like. I like to that's that where I'm scared, David. I think I, I really think that Punk might fuck that up. He might be good. I'm never coming back there. Of course he would. I mean, a court Punk is gonna fuck it up because Punk likes to hold fucking grudges over the fucking little. But he thing. also cares about his money, or he wouldn't have fucked his best friend, basically. And I'm not saying his best friend didn't fuck him, but I'm saying no, when the no, when yeah, the he got yeah, you yeah. out of hand, he said no, I will not pay your legal fees because they're too much now. Fuck you. No. So therefore, he needs Super the money. Super chat party. The man in the, the, the man money. going after the Rock's daughter's looks in the chat. J Apocalypse coming in. What? Super chat. By the way, uh, the this Rock's. I thought the Rock's daughter actually looked more prettier than I I, I thought she was. She actually looked Where's all right. She. Yeah. she the, pro- okay. the, the problem with the Rock's daughter is that she reminds me so much of Young Rock that that's all I see. <laughs> so it's weird. It's like the Seinfeld episode. So you know, she she reminds me of a young Tamina, a little bit. Okay, but so wait, I'm I'm a little lost. Where did she debut or what's NXT? Going on? She, she made she debuted this week on okay. NXT. Got it. <clears throat> and 2.0 or the other one? Well, the, there's only one. Oh, oh gross! That's bad. Because there wasn't a 1.0. I think they she looks all right. I, I, I honestly do. I don't think she look. I mean, uh, first of all, whatever. But she looks she looks fine to me. Like uh, you know. She looks yeah, like the you rock can't, with you hair. Can't put her towards the rock right away. I don't the rock care. The fucking rock. I think she looks nice. Well, well, well here's the here's the other thing too. She's the first, I believe. Well, no, no. Fifth Finley technically, his son is the fourth generation, but she's technically the first mm. fourth <clears throat> generation superstar in WWE. Mm. That Wait, is generation. Huge. It, it's for me. You tag me in an Instagram. Don't tag me again like that on oh. something that's NXT. Please, I don't give a shit about fourth. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, right. Right. Man. Right. He got triggered. You, may, you may have a problem with how I fucking speak. At least I don't tag you on Instagram. Trick. He's right. 
I think I, I think I think the rock star looks a lot better now. I think the I think when she looked weird was when she had dark eyebrows and blonde hair. That weird that was a strange look. You I mean, know what I mean? She kind of reminds me of Tamina Joe. I don't know what it is. Man. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they fuck her up when they have that early China face. Yeah, I think she's fine. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, and, and again, we still haven't seen her really do a lot of in ring work. Oh on my TV, god! Even though there's been footage of her, like you know, doing independent stuff, you know, on like you know the the show, like you know, on the actual shows for NXT when they tour. But it'd be nice to see her do cut even more promos and also see what she could do in the ring, especially since she came off an in, of an injury. What's her mother look like? Listen, she can't do much. She's a goddamn rookie. What's her mother look like? Oh, Dana, Dana know... Garcia? Um, Dana Garcia. That's Rock's first wife. That's what she looks like. Wait, is that is that like the ex girlfriend that we see in the Young Rock show? Is this is <laughs> yeah? That's the, that's the young girlfriend. She looks right, very right. manly, just to be. Oh honest. well, the you want to see the rocks? You want to see the rocks first wife? Yeah, yeah. Danny I Garcia. just want to see who. I want to try to compare who she's getting her looks from. Well, here you go. That's what she looks like. The dog. There she is. Hold on, let me just. Bring she's it Cuban. Okay, so, yeah. So it's the mom that she's getting because I'm, you know, the, you know, Rocky's a handsome gentleman. Uh, but yes, uh, I can I see mean, that we're yeah. But you know what, the Rock looked kind of weird when he was younger and got better looking as he got older. I mean, didn't you he, compare Joe? Didn't a couple of shows ago you compare me to Rocky? My dude, that's the Rock's. Shit? Wow, this is the Rock's first wife. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Yeah, yeah, Danny Garcia. Yeah, they met in uh, Miami University. Yeah. I mean, so they're still friends. It looks like they're like good friends now. Yes, but oh they're, yeah, no, no, they're they're business partners, and yes, they are still oh, friends. Well, that's Absolutely. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. He wore the fanny pack on their first date. Matter of fact, matter of fact, his stunt double, rock stunt double, I believe, is Danny's uh now husband. Oh. <laughs> she don't look that bad. She's not you know God. she's not my type, but I mean she don't look you know, she looks nice. I know some she different. looked different when she was younger, obviously. You know, I mean she wasn't like muscular as she is now. She Dude, now like, she's like ripped or I something. Know. It's it's crazy. Well actually, you know what? Now she's in the post ripped, isn't it? Now she's kind of like melting down. She's not working out anymore or is it the other way? You look like shit. For him brule. Sorry. I think her daughter looks fine. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. She looked like shit. I but all, those, way, uh, all those rings in her nose, she looks like a fucking <laughs> stuffed pig. By the oh. by the way, I think I, mean, I thought I thought that I um, what she does in the ring though. I'll see what she does eye contact in the ring. I thought the eye contact actually looked really, really cool. Well, listen, I thought it's she was look. all right. It's not a big deal. Listen, The Rock, when he, when, he, he, when, when The Rock came out, I showed some of his promos the other night. The Rock was awkward a little, a little bit. He could speak and everything, but he was a bit, like, you know, different on the mic and awkward. And, you know, she's got that same vibe. And she got a promo the other night that was nice enough. She just said some simple things but didn't mess it up. It wasn't anything great. So wait, it, Joe, you would know that, like, in wrestling school, do they start you off trying to be a heel or a face? They just start you off with cut a promo and tell, and we'll evaluate from there. Yeah, but which way are we going here? Because she's a heel. She's in a heel group. Fight. She's in a heel group. Okay. She's in her own so little nation good. of domination right now. So you guys liked it. Um, listen, I didn't love it or hate it. It was just all right. I just looked at it and I went, okay. She got through the promo. That was good. She looks all right. There we go. Um, get to the next. Get we'll better. see. Yep, we'll see what I happens. Think, Nothing special. I disagree with how they're booking her so far. <laughs> She's appeared once. Yeah, yeah, but she'll never. Yeah, but I think, but I think the they should have done what I think they should have done is what they did with the Rock. Start her off with babyface, get her nuclear heat, and then turn her heel. Well, I think they know the that. Dude, the only that was that naturally done. Fucking That's, going nuts over him. She they wants didn't... to be her own entity. Right. Own She's good. Doesn't Dwayne mean they Rock can't the use people, the same he formula. He was Dwayne Johnson, and he was. So just Mata. be an original and use the same formula for somebody. Well, no, no, they're protecting her. To be creative on their own, they're I protecting mean, the formula her. Formula works. Look at how the rock is now. No, the formula works. Yeah, so let's the just keep copying the formula thing. that might not even work. No, the Dude, fans they made to it work. Certain formulas with others, and they're they're work. protecting yeah, her. They're putting her in a group where she can be around other people. They're protecting yeah. her that way. They can let her flourish yeah. in this group. There's no pressure on her to be the Rock's daughter. And there's no rush. And there's no rush to bring yes. her. Let her do whatever. Let them see how the fans react, and leave it while it is for a while. 
Thank God. No, they did say yeah. that she was multi generational, didn't they? Multi generational, but that's yeah. all you need to know. Fine, but don't ever compare her to any of those people that she's related to because that's how you kill her before she even begins. Right, and then and then the shoes are she's just too big to fill. And again, not, I want not, her to fill not, it up on her own and earn. Yeah, and, 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 and Jesse, and, and Jesse, and Jesse, remember Fuck this Charlotte. also. Jesse, remember this also. Rock won the title. He won the world heavyweight title within two years of his debut on yes. WWE programming. Yep. I hope to God they don't rock at her like Charlotte or even rock at that. Yeah, Let me just quickly add one thing. Yeah. Got it in two years, right? But people are shitting on Tony Khan for acknowledging those that uh, deserve the title run. So I'm, Vince I'm, McMahon no, has I'm, also I'm, been guilty I'm, of these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. No, you're that's there's nothing wrong with getting an early title shot, but no, no but in terms of earning some of these it. Uh, haters out there, Jesse, there is. So I'm the, sure. they're more than willing to concentrate on Tony Khan, but they kind of ignore everything else that's happened in the past. Yeah. Okay. Well, then for they're, they're well, stupid. Well, yes, me and you are. don't agree on a lot of things, Dick, but I agree with you on that. People need to stop hating on Tony Khan. Well, he does. He has the fuck this whole thing up. I love what he's tried to do. But think of it this way. One of the best things I've heard recently is that this guy was a big wrestling fan. He probably has been booking this since he was a kid. Like, he has cared about this for so long. What do you do after three years have gone by? And now it's like, what can you book work, uh, week to week? You obviously didn't go this far ahead in your mind years ago. You right, right. But, do a lot. But now he's got I mean, he has the best of the indies year. right now. Hang on. What did you say, Rostava? He, he's got, he can't just think week to week. He really has to think year to year. Well, I know that. Has, I get that. You know. But what I mean is I think he did have some of this planned ahead for maybe you just say six months, a year, two years. Well, he's 2020, done this forever. 2022 was a crapshoot for him because he had to keep readjusting and readjusting. And that's this where and I think that. he kind of is a little sketchy. I'm like, dude, maybe you need some help right there. Like, just get a little well, help. Well, after uh, when Cody yeah. left and then everything that happened with Punk and the Bucks and, and Omega, I mean, again, yeah. it's just been a lot for him. Dude, you sure. watch his eyes on the Punk scrum. He's like... His body language was so... Yeah, he doesn't scary, know what to do. He's, He's like, so I don't want to lose my top guy that just got us a million yeah. whatever. Yeah, and he <laughs> should have been the bomb and told Punk to shut the fuck up. Yeah, he right. wanted to be like, dude, shut up. What about the Helwani, what, the Helwani interview? He wouldn't answer a motherfucking question. That to me speaks to the character. Well, 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 in his mind, he's like, okay, we're still in a, in a lawsuit and it's not over yet, so I can't speak about it. But at the same time, you can at least say, well, what were you thinking? He's a scaredy cat. Yeah, he is. In that vein, <laughs> that, that guy vein, also yes. cried like a bitch, that guy. That guy cried like a bitch. He did. Well, Ooh. he hugs. Well, he hugs very. You know. Uh, no, I mean the guy, the ra the host. I mean that guy's in the WWE's pockets. He's a UFC. Oh, guy. I understand that, but I also yeah. feel like he could have done a better job if he wants to be a politician. Answer. Mm -hmm. Give him a politician answer. Mm -hmm. Don't say I'm not going to talk about that. Well, give, that give him a fair. fucking stupid answer that doesn't you, answer anything. You, you know what, Jesse? You know what he should have said? He said, "At this time, I cannot comment on that." He did pretty much, but pretty much, yeah. He should have actually given an answer, but it doesn't answer a fucking thing. Even if he, even if he gave a Vince McMahon like answer, I would respect Tony for that. But he couldn't even do that. I don't respect what he did. I just, I love that he's a big fan. But motherfucker, you need and again, some help. I, and again, I don't hate Tony Khan. I just hate how I don't need handle them. I just that, that get way. It out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You'll all be crying Rue when I get a hug from Tony Khan. No, you were crying Rue. You get your hug. You, dude, can you imagine? You're probably taller than him. You probably squeeze him to death. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I would squeeze his balls for a, you know, a couple minutes. For a job? He, he is yeah. a little... He needs to grow a little bit of fucking integrity, you know a little fortitude. You, if he's going to go... Just leave Tony Khan alone. You just you know, leave him alone. <laughs> I love him. You know, you know what, Joe? If you can't get Wait, a job I'm as the a commentator, you should be the booker. I think Joe would do a great job as booker. I'll oh be, my uh, fucking god! I'll be dead by tomorrow. G. Do this. We talked about this the other day. He's gonna be. How is he gonna be the commentator and the fucking booker and all this? Well, I guess Vince did. Dude, Kevin Sullivan, I believe. <laughs> when yeah, I, I when I, mean, I start like, my yeah, own yeah, company. Dusty. I believe in Joe's talent to be able to do multiple things. Oh, trust me. Ask Leah. I she, believe in Santa Claus from the sounds of it. Ask Leah. No, she I, knows about this. I don't believe in Santa Claus. 
I believe in, hey, I believe dude, in the Easter Bunny. They're scared of Joe. He's real. Because of what the kind of show Joe does, they're scared what? of the man. They Excalibur calls people that. the N-word, and Excalibur's there. Come on. I believe in Joe Hendry. <laughs> He's hey, fine. We all believe in Joe. It's fine. Dude, he'll, he'll just be like, I'm... So no, no, what? I, I believe in Joe Hendry. What that means? It's uh-huh. Wednesday night and Joe Cronin here with Bucky. I'll be dead next week. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh great. my God, dude! They, they also, want uh, to uh, so just mention I believe MJF. in Joe Hendry. <laughs> MJF uh, talking to Renee's like, with all due respect, shut up. Yeah, okay. I loved it, dude. I, I loved it. <laughs> Elon Musk entered it. Twitter headquarters today with a sink in his hand. And he yeah. wrote on Twitter, let that sink in. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by the way, I got to I got to point this out. Just a couple days ago, uh, I think it was Sean Rossap who got married and did the whole thing. No, we don't talk about the Cyclops. Oh, yeah, right. Great. I, I Bring know. up we fucking fag I know, but he's such a mark. I just have to. No, no. This out. dude, this dude got Joe Twitter banned. Fuck Sean Rossap. Dude, he is a mark. Uh, speaking of Twitter, Joe, the. Uh, uh, Rumor has it that Elon may just unban ninety percent of all the uh, accounts that were banned. Fuck yeah! Oh, please so let that happen. You might get your original account back. Yeah, yeah. MTV hates people. All lives are M- fucked. I know. MT- MTV hates white people. I'm coming if back, baby. Elon Musk saw that tweet. He probably like and retweeted. He would have. Oh he would have liked gosh. my tweet. Yes, Dude, I wouldn't have been. Banned. I love your electric car. I Dude, can you wet, think? Think about the th- carrot. Think drive. about the two things that have got me perma banned on my account. <laughs> What the fuck? One of them was MTV hates white people, and the other one was, "Hey, I'll be the referee when you fight this idiot." Those yeah. are the two tweets that, that got me banned. Fucking... Those got me banned yeah, off yeah, Twitter. I actually tweeted, uh, "Imagine if uh, Elon Musk and uh, Ye partnered and uh, produced Yeezy sneakers. You know, the outrage alone yes. would be worth it." I'll that was it. basically the the if summary. Elon, of my- if Elon liked your tweet, Joe, he most likely would invite you into his soft shaft rocket and blast. Wait, you. Oh, why did you amazing. get kicked for the referee quote? Who fucked you? Well, probably because probably because he that com- fucking he, side yeah. plot, motherfucker. He probably, I don't know who that is. I don't like. He he comments. the dude that he the dude that worked with fucking Wrestle Talk. Yeah, the fightful guy. That motherfucker. Yeah. The one that looked like the, the one that looked like a vanilla midget. He teased. He's, he's, he's DM me before. Select. He DMs. He's DM me before and said my fans attack or whatever. And it's my fault and I'm a yeah, bad person. I remember that. That's why I'm like that fuck. He's an SJW too. He's a full on well, SJW. Well, that dude blocked me on Twitter and he hates autistic people. Right. Oh, dude, he doesn't even know you're autistic. He'll probably add you back because he's scared if you say I'm autistic and I have Cody's <laughs> shoe. Like he'll just bring you back. No, he's a he's a bad person. No, he blocked me for defending Joe. Let's get him killed. Oh. Hey, I mean, I mean, on Twitter. Legally. Oh, okay. Legally killed. Let's well, not, we got yeah, fucking. Let's, let's, I'm not down with it. That was Jesse that said that. I have no, no idea. No, god damn it. I'm on I know I'm only here for the Clintons. The Clintons said we're gonna kill him, and I said, I'll try. <laughs> let's not kill anybody, all right? Let's not do that. All right. That, all right. I won't, I'll never go now we can make him drink MJF's piss. I mean, we can do that. I'm gonna gargle your I piss. You. I don't want to see anybody I mean, anybody hurt. At, at that all. time, we would like to say Joe Cronin did not condone any killing of anybody i don't condone uh, the killing of anybody uh jesse j you can find him at 142 cypress avenue uh nevada no, just, <laughs> i don't know, so, I don't know uh, guys i don't know if you saw this i mean ristoff is always on top of this sort of thing but uh some guy did an armed robbery and he was wearing a wwe championship belt no Ryan, hell yeah Ryan the Hill oh here, i gotta see that he's wearing a wwe title yeah, Ryan, Ryan the Can't fucking believe Jesse said that. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Come on, that was definitely. I was trying to be polite. I was saying you're gonna kill. Links in the chat when you're ready. Picture my hip replacement. They'll be like, no, 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 we don't run a fuck with that. Don't talk over the donation. Won some games. I don't know how much games, but what games I've seen him play, he is a good receiver. <coughs> I don't think he ever got hurt, at least from what I've seen them play. 
No, Devo- Dante. No, no. Adams has been great. I got him in my fucking team every week. Wait, you talking about Dante Adams or? De- I don't know. Is that for the Patriots or who? No, the Green Bay. She loves the Adams. Oh, the Green Bay Packers. Okay. Um, so, Joe, um, just if you look at the link that I put in the general chat, I don't think it's a WWE uh, belt. It's a Miz belt. But, yeah, oh, shit. she's wearing it in fucking uh, in the images, and I'm sure you can show it. You might get fucking um, Miz versus MJF. I posted something like that in the chat, and I got that from Ryan the Heel. Credit goes to Ryan the Heel. You fucking cheater. I'm bringing this up, and you're bringing it up. So, uh, well, I, we you know what yeah, it is. Green Bay, yesterday. Green Bay fans are angry because Devonte Adams left Green Bay. So the people like are so? freaking out over that. He's a really good receiver. I mean, that's all I got to know. Wow, you got you can't lose that. All right, let me go look for this belt robbery that happened. <laughs> I mean, everybody needs a hail mary. Where are you gonna? What are you gonna do right. with the what uh, receivers you don't trust? Hmm. <sighs> doesn't say the store what the store was. Mm. It's probably uh, a local convenience store or something if it doesn't say. Home Alone 2. <laughs> which one did they try and rob? It's like a Home store. Alone. Home Alone 2. Hey there, yeah, what's real, going dude. on? Hey, what's going on? I just was coming I'll by. I'll give you these two turtle doves. Come here, I'll give you my fucking turtle dick. Like what? Hey, sex sex homo alone. Time, baby. Banana time. Um, what are you doing? I'm too. sorry. What are you doing in my house? Oh, I just I came by to, to look at something. Well, Looks like you're all you alone st- here. Yeah, I'm all alone. But you know, you should get out of here. I'm not in the. I'm like, I'm in the guys. Well, that's why I'm here. Oh yeah. <laughs> we call us sticky <laughs> bandits because oh. we're covered in. They call me the Sticky Bandit. They call me a Sticky Bandit. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Allison, thank you, and I'm sorry about Green Bay. Fuck Green Bay. Oh. What's up your ass, Jesse? Nothing, but I see so many Super Bowls with them in it. What? There's too many Super Bowls with Green Bay in it. Oh, well, well, no. Green Bay hasn't been in the Super Bowl in years, man. They yeah, but I grew up like to it. Time, I'm dude. triggered. I'm scarred. I fucking hate that shit. Same with the Broncos. Both of those cocksuckers. I get that. That's because that's right. I get that. But you know what? Fuck the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> been too many damn Super Bowls. So, <laughs> Joe, no, you we photo? haven't been in enough Super Bowls. Shut up. Joe, did you see the photo? <laughs> no. Why don't you shut up, motherfucker? Oh, my God. Because he's got something to say. Wow. All right. Go ahead, Dave. I just said wanted to know if you saw the photo of the guy wearing the belt. Not yet. Uh, hang on. Um, did he rob? It looks like a convenience store. doesn't look like a... Get away from cigarillos. That'd be funny. <laughs> like, what did he get? Oh, here it is. He, is he wearing it? Wait a minute. He's wearing it upside down like the Miz? Yeah. Like the Give Miz. me all your steel reserve. Oh, my God. He, wow. Oh, my God. He, he should be in a 72-hour hold, officially. So I've never seen someone cosplay as a Muslim and the Miz at once. This is unbelievable stuff. The Miz. Now, he really has a big forehead. I'll say that. And that may be that it's being accentuated by the mask. And now he's wearing it. This was it's not probably the mask. How do you not get a better how do you not get a better ski mask, but you manage to put the WWE belt on? For real, he landed. Right. He Wait, landed is the belt fight. holding up the satchel that's around his waist? No. What no the idea. fuck? Oh Wait, my is God. the belt is the belt holding up his pants? Wait, does anybody know um, when you buy these belts? Are they Velcro? Yeah, they're no, Velcro, no, but they, they don't stay the, on well. They have the little uh, clip things what? in the back. These are the kids' belt. This is the kids' belt. Oh, okay, so the, you can still puncture holes into it. It's not the actual it. replica? Could, could no, but even it. if it was the replica, the replicas are now sticky, or unless they unless they change that. No, I would if, 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 holes if, in yeah, it. Yeah, it, it had the little clips on in the back, right? Okay, well, the belts in on TV now just have a Velcro. It's a strap on, Dan. Well, you would know about Japans, wouldn't you, Jesse? You damn right, I would. And uh, so wouldn't MJF. I'm gonna gargle your piss. All right. Well, there he is. It's like Jericho, he's been talking to Jericho too much. 
I'm gonna gargle your piss. Tell me that's not Jericho's voice. No, no, that's more Joe's voice. I think he stole that from Joe. <laughs> yep, well, this, is another, this is another thing stolen from me. You're a drink pisser, Jesus. piss drinker. You know, I think... Uh, so, well, you, you, I mean, I do drink ice house, so why not? I was going to say that you today did. when you had uh, Yuda and uh, Brian... Um, Great match. Basically, well, no, I'm saying, no, the, the, not the match. The, the, basically, behind the scenes, uh, you had Claudio come in and try to get them to relax. Oh, he I'm was like, like, it's your birthday. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, but, no, but he, the guy towered over both of those guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, like yeah, uh, uh, Daniel Bryanson. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. You just it's made me ass, ass dude. Ass blah. You just but, made the uh, list. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's he's not that short either, and uh, Yuta's not short, but, yeah, Claudio certainly did. Uh, Dude, he, I saw him front time. row at a house show. He is someone to watch out oh, for. Oh, you saw him? You Luther. saw him actually live? Yeah, at a house show. When he, 2012, before he made it to the main roster, I think. Who, Brian? He had American flag. He was doing the American flag gimmick, being a heel. And yeah, my God, was a, he that, was fucking they, brilliant. They ruined that. That's another thing. The, the We the People thing yeah, it, that it would have so worked well. so well, especially since Trump was getting into power at that point. That's probably why they dropped it, because it was <laughs> yeah, really starting to... Yeah, swagger got that, caught that weed so and they started doing We the People. It was blurring <laughs> blurring the lines of reality, but... We the People. You know, you know, Dave, We the People were dead and buried. It was stupid creative. No, it wasn't stupid. Yeah. They made it stupid. No, I'm I'm quoting Jericho, you asswipe. And you're an idiot. You stupid yeah. idiot. And so, and so is Jericho, you stupid idiot from Toronto. You know what? You I'm know from, what? You know what? I'm from Winnipeg, you idiot. What they wrote? You don't want to know what happened when you call me a stupid idiot? You want to know um, what happened? Well, you just make, made the list. Make the list. You just made the list. Yeah. Overall, Joe, what did you think of the show, point-wise? 7 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10 for me. 7.85 for me. 8 out of 10. Oh. And William Regal, what do you think? Welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. little creme brulee you. I'd like to crack you and let you just Rumble melt in there. I would, honestly. Already. Oh, we're rocking and rolling. Little up. creme brulee you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> really oh. <laughs> melt inside <laughs> me. Not yeah. let you melt inside me. What the fuck does that so mean? Wait, did everybody come close to a 7.5? Was it's that like the marshmallow? Yeah, I think so. And I think that's kind of what the chat voted, it looks like, too, pretty much. Yeah, but, yeah, above average show. Seems to be a general yeah, was about 7.5. It was like a gold phone show. It was like, okay, is it in two weeks, the pay per view? Three. Yeah. Three. Okay. I thought November. tonight was. I, I definitely think tonight deserved a 6 to a 7 out of 10, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah it was good. They did a good job. I mean, I paid it. No, it deserves at least a 7. Eight. It deserves at least a 7. Mm. I agree. Yeah. With I, that ending, because that's building. That's building. There's a up. lot of stuff. That, still, I got, I got a, again, one of the best matches, in my opinion, tonight was FTR versus uh, yes. in our Glory. That's probably going to be oh, my favorite match of the night myself. Oh, good. Yeah. It was great. And, and by the way, just, I, th I think it was just recently, or it might be a little bit later, but FTR was uh, doing a couple of indie shots with uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, and I thought that was... Then they raped him. They raped him afterwards. No, no, I think it was the other way around. I hope so. I hope we put the fucking dragon screw on their cum job. <laughs> God. All right, we're all tired. I'm gonna go. Uh, what is, well, I'm sick. I, I've held it together. That's why I went. I'm. I'm glad everybody was here. I mean, I just felt. Let me come over here because talking. I'm also tired, but yeah, I couldn't talk I too much. I could talk Dude, for like tired. a few seconds. I couldn't. I got this pain, that pain. Something's going on. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You don't have what I have. You need, to, because you, you, need, you need to go to a masseuse. You need to go to a spa. Oh, fuck off. I would love a, uh, someone to rub the fuck out of me. Why don't you fuck up? I got to be honest. My daughter my, my daughter does this. My daughter comes down, and I swear to God, my daughter sits next to me, and she'll either play on my phone or she'll just lay next to me, my daughter, and she'll like rub my head. 
And I'll be like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, she's like, oh, I'll, I'll rub you. I like rubbing your head and, and your back. Is your she gets her out of sorts and then she's going to rub their wallet. Dude, she, yeah, just take the wallet when I'm not looking. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, take she, my card. daughter is on. Credit card, exactly. Dude, every mm-hmm. time I'm sick, my daughter's like, you want me to rub your head, dad? Like, I'm uh-huh. head. And she lays with. Well, she's she, crazy. She's just crazy. the best. I love, I love her. Um, crazy. And, She's just very uh, sweet. I don't know. I don't Daddy's know why. Girl. None of the kids, other kids, would ever do that. But she's like, "Yo, let me sit." Wow. Me. Yeah, she's trying to get into the will. <laughs> she does say, "You're trying to get into the will." There's no will. Yeah, trying to get more like, "Hey, I died. Now uh, the IRS is coming for you." <laughs> so that's the will. The will is they're coming for you now. By her, she's the only one that could get into your show. I know. That is true. This is true. She There's was... nobody. Who else? Gavin. Oh my God! Where's ah! the thing? She no, makes... I, I think Joe's oldest son might be able to handle it. Yeah, Gavin. He's pretty calm, Gavin? though. You know? Yeah, he's pretty he's crazy too... on his own. He's... Oh, let's do... Let's go! Let's go! Oh, my God, do we have that? Holy fuck, dude. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna... Forever, oh, my God, dude. That is the funniest fucking thing. Please tell me I have that. Didn't you say that Brandon came down and did that to him? Yes, he she fucking infuriated him because he's like, this is never going to stop. <laughs> he goes, this is never going to stop. Well, let's oh, go. my God, fuck you guys. Yeah, he was so mad. He was like, <laughs> I mean, this dude, this went on for a whole summer, like all summer long. Like Gavin would come down for like something let's to drink. Go. Hey Gavin, what's up? Let's go. <laughs> he be like, fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's go. Oh my, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. On that like, note, you gentlemen. On a road trip? Yeah. Let's, let's go. go. And on that note, gentlemen, I'm gonna go count sheep while listening to the song Sheep. Dude, oh. Be careful of the gender sheep. The musical sheep. <laughs> back. No, you should, you should fall asleep because you know, because I'm sheep. sure you own them, but fall asleep to the musical cats. Nah. Fuck cats. Cats Ooh. are cunts. We, you better be careful with that, or JD will come out of the woodwork and. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck, fuck do your one. cats in your bathtub, you fuck. Oh. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, you screwed ba- cats in a bathtub. We would like to refer. We would like to remind everyone that Jesse has said this, and Joe Conan had no responsibility for what Jesse said. Yes, I, yeah. need- I didn't say that, and I don't want anyone Your to die. Your discretion is advised. I want no one to die. Just so you know. <laughs> well, let's get gay. Let's get gay. By the way, my birthday's this weekend. Oh yeah, how old are you turning? Are Wait, you... Oh, you Scorpio son of a bitch! I love you. I'm turning thirty-one. Wow, I'm surprised hey, you're Ristapa, sharing this information, Rastafa. Do, do, do you have a license? Yes, a yes, I do. I do. Yeah, he's not retarded. You know, same. Us normal people. Even even Jesse has a driver's license. Okay. I don't. I don't. But it's because I shouldn't. I'll tell you, you what. Know. The way Boston's going I now, no Dan. Vision. You're gonna want okay, one well, soon. Okay. Well, you've driven. And I've, you know, I'm privy to Oh, that. I can drive. I can't. Joe, drive. you understand oh, I... why I don't have a license. Yeah, because you killed Who? someone once. Whoa. Well, I haven't killed anyone. I don't know what you heard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I heard of the birds. When you word. get a license, you'll see. You'll kill at least three people. You'll get manslaughter. And you'll hope you know how to take an ass raping. Tick tock. Don't bend on over. The clock. Wait, 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 Jesse. What makes you so sure that I'd be the one getting ass raped? Because Ooh. it's jail. That you don't know anybody when you go in. My boy, my my boy Ryan is ready to like just deal with somebody if he was gonna Ryan's get like, bro, I'll tell you Ryan's what. like, I will pull out my gat right out of my deal. I will deal with any <laughs> inmate. <laughs> Yo, Joseph check in prison. Holy I am calm. Check this out. Hold on, man. Dude, you need to pick that I shit off. He's scaring me. Happy He's gonna kill somebody. You are making nah, it very hard. Hit this door and action figure tree. at you. I am calm. I am relaxed. I oh here it is. That I mean, no, I got my I got. <laughs> dude. You are making it very hard to So my, you know, my me. daughter's in cheer. I am calm. Right, she's in cheer. Yeah. I am relaxed. Um, I am a happy And so, tree. she fucking. Uh, you are making it I'm very trying cheer. to pause this fucking video. So I am wait, calm. They put, dude. With her, with her being in cheer, she she's the one that she's mostly the one that's on the bottom of the pile that holds up the other girl. 
You know what I mean? And cheer. You know what I'm saying? Like she holds up the the girl. She, yeah, she's on the bottom. They call that a base or something like that. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, it's the base. Yeah. So what she's else? so she's making a video about that. So uh. Aww. So look at this. Hold on. That dude, that's Where one is. strong chick. Where is it? No, oh, she's just hey, crazy. Bullfrog I mean, is we, a can't, moron. we can't see oh. it because you're not showing. <laughs> oh my Sing god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Oh, Popos and Papas, the general has fuck. arrived. Uh oh, here he is. Special warm welcome and salute to our Emperor Devious Dave Rose. He is a oh. good man. Ugh. Where is that Neanderthal banana eating monkey AJ Adams? <coughs> oh. Come here, boy. It's time for treats some salty white Filipino drink. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, he's God. here, man. General ripped. Santos is here. I'm going to look like Jesus on the cross. Oh, yeah. So ripped. so here she goes. She's making this little video. So this we is just an example. because you're not sharing, Joe. Oh, well, you'll see in a second. Hold on. I will. You'll see it. God damn it. You know, it's a, it. so why is it? So she's messing around with his shoe. Look at this crazy thing. I you're not calm. down with that. <laughs> I am relaxed. I am a happy tree. You are making it very hard to be a happy tree. <laughs> she's just oh, always she's making so committed to the role. She's, she's, she's committed. doing these TikToks now, like the kids do. She's doing lots Dude, of. She's oh my! Oh my God! Acting. She's a mini God. you. Yeah, but the problem she's is she's you. But she's mad though because her accounts has to be private. I won't let her make it. So she's like, make nobody one, sees them. Nobody sees my video. I'm like, yeah, because it's private. Then why did she make another one? And add, dude, that's what you do. You you add the new one. You Jeffy, make, you, you fucking add. Idea. Jeffy, giving her ideas. The kid ideas. Don't give her ideas. What are you doing? What, what are you doing she's to my dude, daughter? She's brilliant. Wait, are you corrupting she's Joe's brilliant. daughter? What are you Joe, doing don't to my daughter? Don't corrupt Joe's daughter. You fucking dude. The yeah, way she yelled at herself in the uh, van with no windows. <laughs> Swear to God, <laughs> dude, the way she yelled at that oh, shit, God. she's gonna make you guys all money. Like you just. Well, yeah, we hope the right way. It might be Mick. No. I mean, like, you know, we don't no. want a Mick Foley's daughter situation, if you know what I mean. We don't want a Noel Foley situation. Please go to my clown. daughter's <laughs> OnlyFans. Married a clown. <laughs> can you imagine that? You can pay two, you can pay two hundred dollars a month. Just for that. You can pay two hundred dollars a month for like for... if you have fucking poetry. You can have poetry. <laughs> you can have pictures of the sun. Can you imagine uh, two hundred? You, you, you know, you know, two hundred dollars a month for not looking at pictures of the fucking sun. Noel Foley well, in, in, in a fucking bikini sitting on her dad's lap as Santa. I mean, come yes. on. Uh, Are you ready for oh, Christmas like, or what? Uh, what would you like, little girl, for Christmas? An orgasm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Noel Foley and her father, like, get the pictures now on OnlyFans. Two hundred dollars here. Me. I'm yeah, telling you. Dude, it's a hell of a match. You think so? I hope so. A hell in the cell match? Is that what you said? I mean, whatever. She's above 18, right? Who knew Elle Foley? Yeah, she's like yeah. 20. She's like 25 now or something. 26, 27. All right, great. Hell in the cell. Could, she gets uh, like so much totally cum on her, her face. It comes right through the top of the cell. Just lip, blip, blip. Mm -hmm. Hole in the cell. Hole in the hole cell. In the cell. <laughs> hole in the wall. Hole in the hole. Hole in the hole. Hole in the hole. Blow hole. Fucking hole on a pole. Hole on a pole match. No, we already had that. Vince Russo already threw Top of the hole. The pole. And you have to stick your dick in the match. <laughs> oh my god, man. All right. We got to get out of here. This is All right. Yeah. Let's get out of here before someone dies. Uh, thank you, General Santos. Glad you're here. Well, all right, let's go. Let's go. Good night, guys. Keep it hard. Good night. Mike. See you later, Joe. Good night. I'll see you later. Sorry, and, uh... I got drunk on I House. What? Yo, play what? that MJF song, brother. Play that MJF song, my dude. What is I House? <clears throat> He, he, Ice house. he always wants him to turn off his music. I don't think he likes his music. I love this rap track. No, no I mean, I like it. Jo Joe, Joe, you sh you know what you should do? You should make his you should make the next MJF theme song because I think he would like your theme song that you make for him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm.
Because you're, good, the, you're good at making music, Joe. Yo. I mean, look at the fucking donations you do. Imagine if you took it seriously and made an actual wrestling team hey, program, MJF. Yeah, the amount you, you suck my dick on these shows is making me uncomfortable. I gotta be honest. Well, well, it, called, it, it called putting you over, you stupid fuck. <laughs> yeah. Language, you stupid you idiot. You stupid fuck. Why don't you, why don't you, go, why don't you go get sucked off at a musical or stuff? Are you fucking musical? Oh. I would love the music to be dropped hey, off at a musical. Of you so have a good time on the biggest story. Everyone has eight. You know eight, what? Eight, eight, eight. Out of I me, Jesse, and Rostafa, who gets Ace first? Your ass. All right. God, I can't take any more of it. I'm sorry. I'm very. I'm a bit sick. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I won't be sick uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll. Hopefully, I'll get better overnight, and I, you know, I don't get worse. Because it was hard tonight to do this show, to be honest. And I'm sorry that I wasn't the best. But what a great show AEW was. And to monetize this championship on the line, maybe on episode 400 to monetize this. Look how beautiful it is. What a fucking belt. What a fucking title belt that is. Fucking Sith Negan. What a fucking belt. You know it. So remember, dismembered, left in the ring, better at everything. I'm a king's champion, it's my job is to win. And to the marks and the critics, <clears throat> kiss my ring, MJF in the building. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Whew. Sorry, but uh, like I said, I was a bit out of it. A little bit sick. Again. Sick again. Catch you all tomorrow. Hopefully. 7 out of 10 for me. Thanks to everybody who was on the show tonight, man. Seriously. Mustafa, Dan Kennedy, everybody else, De Devious Dave, everybody, man. Thank you for being here. Um, definitely needed the help tonight. I couldn't speak for too long with this throat. See you tomorrow. Top spot. It's a fact they always hate on the best. I'm not lucky, I'm proving myself. I'm passing a test. See, I'll pass on the rest so I can pass on the rest. There ain't no competition in this conversation, I guess. So you can never defeat me. I'm making all this look easy. I know this industry needs me. I knock you out like you're bleeding. I'm the greatest human being alive. Don't gotta try. So remember, dismembered, left in the ring, better